Are you in? Give me this. Okay. Hey everybody, we're gonna get underway in a few minutes. I'm gonna let some people get into the room and then we will be good to go. Hey Nikki. For some odd reason my my stream yard looks funny, but we'll deal with it. See it looks like that. What? It does, it just looks weird. They must be playing with it. Eh. Okay, guys, we're going to be... There we go. My phone was set to like Android mode instead of instead of the fun filled desktop mode. So hopefully everybody's weekend was good. We are gonna get underway in just a couple minutes. We're getting some people in here. We got twenty five in the room so far. Any eighties figures today, Mr. Mixtape? Um, I have some starting lineups going to come up. We have some photos, some magazines, some glass negatives. Um, what else? Some toy catalogs, some books. And I'm sure we have something else that will wind up in here. Comet books. All kinds of stuff. So from our buy this weekend, we're going to run through a bunch of that type of stuff just so that everyone can see what we bought nice. and we can flip some of that merchandise until we buy the next load. It's a beautiful day outside, so I'm sure some people are enjoying the weather. MC says early birds should get first dibs on the lot. <laughs> Hour. Okay. Okay. Well, that sounds fun by me. We're going to start at 105. Hello, Big Rock Bay. If there is anybody else who is wanting to register and you're just kind of in lurk mode, make sure you send us an email at mrbuyslot795 at gmail.com. <laughs> oh, it's snowing. It's not here. It's actually nice and sunny today. And uh, send me your real name, your YouTube name, your email address for us to send your PayPal invoice and your mailing address. Oh, that's awesome, Greg. So, okay, our first lot's going to be starting lineups. Uh, if you guys watch the video... And ignore the troll. You'll know that starting lineups are starting to get hot. They're not the greatest thing in the world yet, but over the last three months, prices have increased about 110%. So it's because the card market is so hot, and all of these have awesome sports cards with them. So obviously, if you get a rookie year and a rookie card and get it graded, the 88 Michael Jordan uh, starting lineup card is selling for, you know, from ten to fifteen thousand dollars in a PSA ten, and you can buy the starting lineup figure for like six hundred to eight hundred dollars. So, just a hint, you know, uh, 
Mr. Buys a Lot Bolo for you guys. Because he is not slowing down. Awesome. We're glad that you got everything safely, Cam. So, first lot is five starting lineup figures. Shipping is included inside the United States. Uh, this is all from this weekend. I haven't had a chance to do much with it other than make some trays for you guys. And that's kind of my business model now is I'm going to go buy stuff and I'm going to sell it to you that week. So thank you for everybody who commented on our videos and watched the wholesale video yesterday. Sorry we sold out of rock and roll photos in nine minutes. It's a new record. We sold 20 lots of 100 photos in nine minutes total from the time the wholesale video went live, which is all we had at the time. I am trying to buy more from the guy, so we'll see, and I have some people that are interested in more. So first one is an extended series in Roger Sedino. I believe this is the last year that Kenner did them, and then it became uh, McFarlane to go over the starting lineup line. This one's really cool because King Griffey Jr. seems to be really hot right now. So his rookie cards are reaching all-time highs, especially graded. So this is a 2000 extended series, which they're usually a little bit better than the regular series. We have the 2000 extended series Chipper Jones. You have the 1997 Andrew Jones. And we have the 1996 Jeff Blake. They are all mint on the card never played with. Most of them were in cases or, or moved from boxes. So they're very cool. I thought about making a wholesale video with all the starting lineups, but I really don't have all of them yet. I'm still waiting on 30 more boxes. So I figured I'd bring them this way for you guys. And there's some that I don't know. Like, obviously, I would know a Jordan is, you know, the best. And then I think it goes NBA, and then it goes NFL, and then baseball. But Jeter's rookie year is bringing crazy money. Cubby Bryant's rookie year is bringing crazy money because of the card. And if you are a submitter and a grader, I, me personally, if I... You know, if in this lot I open up a ADM screen, I'd probably open it and send it in for grading. Because a card could be fifteen thousand dollars. So Chipper Jones, King Griffey Jr. are the two big names on this one. But there's some like short print guys that I don't know who they are. And they sell for four and five hundred bucks a pop. So you just gotta know know your stuff. I buy it cheap and sell it to you guys. All right, 27 with Greg. So we have twenty seven with Greg Lusk. Looking for any advance. Big rock is out. Bluegrass is out. So we're looking for 29 or bigger. Scroll up a little bit so that I can see. No, like over in here. I just want to make sure that I can see this part of the screen because seeing down here doesn't do us any good. You good? Yeah. It's, it's how I can tell like what's on the screen because it looks different on my camera than it does here. Okay, so are we sold? Going once, going twice. Three times a lady. And whoever wins this, congratulations. The King Griffey Jr. is actually really nice. Oh, we got more bids. Ooh. 
sweet. I was packing it up for whoever it was. Somebody <laughs> came in and sniped it. Snipers. Yeah, Cindy at 30. The glare on these reminds me we need to order another photo light booth. Greg, you want to, should we get you a trophy? <laughs> I've been sniped trophy. <laughs> little target, little Greg Lust target. Greg is out. We have Cindy in at 35. Mm -hmm. 37 with Belfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Changed his names on me. Mm -hmm. Cindy's in at 40. And again, if you're in the United States, shipping is included. If you are out of the United States, we still sell to you, which is awesome for everybody. But you just pay the difference in shipping from, say, us shipping to New York versus us ship Canada or Mexico or Australia or wherever you're at. I know, Greg, I was, look, I was, I was on your side there. Don't worry, we got more. I, I have a thousand figures here at the warehouse. Okay. Oh, sorry. I did, I started to do it again. I started to pull it off. The, there you go. <laughs> Okay, we're set. I'm all hyper today, guys. It's all hyper. Okay, let's let's mix it up. Let's uh, let's do a really awesome ephemera lot that I got this weekend. Some miscellaneous post cards, but there's cigar cards, advertising. Um, there's even a little store display, which is cool. So these are awesome. These are G&A Navy Long Cut Tobacco Cards. These are 1880s, 1890s. There are two of them. One is a blue back, one is a black back. I don't know if they tell you who is on the front. They're probably vaudeville actresses. This one has a little crease right here. This one does not. So there's those two. These are really gorgeous. Again, 1880s, 1890s era, large on thick board. These are also, these are two French novelties packed in gala, gala eds, navy long cut for smoking and chewing tobacco from Baltimore, Maryland. Really nice. So you get those. $10 start on this lot. You get a Baltimore, Maryland. Established 1842. This is an advertising card for upright pianos. But on this side, it talks about that they were established in 1842. They have prize medals from a bunch of different world's fairs, and these are their different offices. So it's like a giant business card. This is an awesome postcard. I told you guys I got a few postcards in that lot, but I'll show you what's really cool about this is her comment. My son's wife has dared to call me a outrageous, the shameless minx. I think it's funny. It's like, you know, a mother-in-law card. And it is fully embossed, but very, very cool. Here's another advertising card for Boston Rubbers. <laughs> Our beacon lights in rubber footwear. Oh, they're for footwear. I thought they were so that you didn't catch crabs. You know, Boston crabs. <laughs> Heenan Molly Shoe Company, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It's a photo. This is a little die cut Victorian card. But wait, there's more. Another Victorian card, a scrapbook. Now, I believe this would have went on 
a tobacco store's window or on the glass countertop displays underneath. This shows you city emblems. These were in tobacco. So you can see here, it is a die cut store display that would have either went inside of a showcase on the front or hung in the window and they would have just taped it up and it showed that you would have, you know, you could get the different city emblems inside of the packs of cigars or cigarettes or tobacco. Hey, Kyle. There is also a real photo postcard. I can't remember what this one says. Owen's house. And there obviously a river there. Yeah, if that's a car or a barge down here on the little boat, but it's a real photo postcard. Very cool. Another real photo postcard, but this is the American Medical Association of Vienna. And it has all the names of all the different physicians, I guess, would be what they were. And I can't read this. It's too fancy for me. But very cool. It is medical. Lots of people like pharmacy stuff. Here is a Piccadilly Circus in London. Postcard also goes with the slot. The Hotel Winston in Washington, D.C. This is a really early postcard as well. Here is a Thurman Munson postcard type thing. Looks like it's 1971 because it has the clinic schedule for and I thought this was just kind of interesting with all the little indie race cars. There's two of them. But like all the awesome sprint cars. Check those out. And the 500 mile speedway in Indianapolis. Uh, <laughs> I want to know where Kim is, I think. Yeah. And then this is for the San Francisco fires, destruction of the whole cell district in San Francisco. 565 with Nandy. 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 Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Pam just called you Nandy. I don't know who Nandy is. Nandy is dandy, but liquor is quick. It's a really interesting lot. I really like the tobacco cards. Those are super cool and they're in great condition. The little store display is awesome. Nineteen ten real photo postcard of the Medical Association in Vienna. Vienna. But aren't these girls beautiful? So cut. Are we talking about Kyle Elliott, Kyle Oman, Kyle Turan? Kyle Elliott was looking for the time. He doesn't say anything that causes him to have pieces. Vaughn down low. Let's go keep it on here. <laughs> but Kyle, then that doesn't make you laugh. 75 with Nancy. Blue back and black back. Tobacco carts. Really nice. And then the little display. Uh, Taran is also in the video. Hi, Kyle Taran. Oh, and he now is Kyle Ullman. <laughs> and Kyle Nielsen. What? There's another Kyle. There's four or five of them. <laughs> they run in packs. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at 70 with Danko. Looking for 75. 25 with Nancy. We have 75 with Nandy. <laughs> I did not say that. You did. You said Nandy. <laughs> you just said it now. And Kyle Oman is here. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. And Kyle, as far as identification sites, um, not really. Uh, Google lends a lot of things. Oh, congratulations, Nancy. You're, you're pronouncing his last name wrong. Taryn. <laughs> Look. 
Look, that's it, Kyle. Done. Kyle Done. You're Kyle T. <laughs> <laughs> oh, locker nuts, Jack. That's funny. All right, so we sold to Nancy. Okay, we sold to Nancy. Sold to Nancy. Seventy-five. Congratulations, Nancy. I'm gonna mix things up today because we got so much stuff from this weekend, and my wife is yelling at me. Not this one. The other one. Yes, she is. I know. All right, you guys. You can't buy no more rock and roll photos. I don't care how many you got sold. Mm. I do what I want, woman. <laughs> Honey, if you're listening, I didn't mean that. Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was out at the estate sale, talked to a guy in line. Uh, we got to talking a little bit. Actually took me over to his car and sold me a bunch of stuff. You guys are going to get to buy it now. Okay. So, Wilkins Toy Catalogs. So, it says 1910. These are, you can see, from Antique Toy Collectors of America. They did a convention, and they would reissue some of these old catalogs showing all the old toys. I can't seem to find them whenever I try to look around for them. Where do you have it, Ryan? But these show what's good about these, even though some of them are reproductions and some of them are actually authentic, which is really hard for me to tell unless I spend a few minutes with each one. So I just made tray lots and figured I'd tell them to you because even as reproductions that were made for this collector society, they're pretty hard to find. And obviously, if you're out and you pick up this specific item, you want to know how old it is and what company made it, these are the only way to do that. The trains. So this is a remake of the 1910 Wilkins Toy Company catalog. Buffalo Indestructible Malleable Iron and Steel Toys. Yep, she's taking the doggers for a walk. So this has a fold out. Of all the cast iron toys. So it's going to be a $10 start, but I think there's 10 or more in this lot. Special supplement to the Columbia Gray Iron Company catalog. So this will have extra toys that they made, or these are sad irons, paper files, safety matches, cap guns, cast iron trains. Some of these are actually really, really good. There are two of those of illustrated catalog of iron toys from J.E. Stevens Company, which is really good. This is probably 18, oh, yep, so 1890s. Um, but here again, oh, this is 1883, J.E. Stevens catalog. With but again, Antique Toy Collectors of America. And it was remade in 1983. But what's cool is, I think I actually have, I don't know if I still have it up or not, but I have one of these, one of the Kicking Mule Banks, and I had one of these, the Bulldog Bank, in a bunch of different colors, had this, and the Owl. This one's really rare, the Chinaman, it's like a fifteen or $20,000 bank. So you get all the novel uh, novelties, and they show all the mechanical banks and mechanical toys, as well as cap guns. So if you ever find some of this stuff, some of these toys are awesome and bring crazy money. That home bank is about ten grand. The blind man and his dog is a fifteen to twenty five thousand dollar bank. I need some of those. There's two of those catalogs. Here is a another one of the Buffalo Indestructible. Toys. These are all cast iron. Here is George Leonard Stout, his 1888 catalog. This was from 1984. So it's still 30 some years old, but this shows all the old German tin toys, the tin litho stuff that's that you never see because I've got a guy that buys the stuff and I can never find it for him. So if you guys are ever out and you find, you know, this type of stuff. 
and you want to sell it, let me know because I've got a I've got a very big buyer for that stuff. You know, the swimming pool. And if he doesn't have it, money's no object. Public manufacturing company has all the cast iron lead soldiers, the little steel banks. And I'm spending more time on this one than I need to for you guys, but this is just a prelude you for the other ones because I like looking at them because they're awesome. Crandall's wholesale price list for Crandall's toys. Crandall's donkey and rider. So those are some pretty rare toys. This is a uh, German toys MK. So these are Kadener. Yeah. Hey. There's a little wind-up toy. The clown on a swine. The clown on a pig. The Zeppelin one's a really rare piece. These are the things you need to find at yard sales, the actual toys. Here's another catalog. National Novelty Company. These are um, bell pull toys. When you pull them up stairs and stuff like that, or up anything, they ding. They're all cast iron. Darky and the alligator. That's hilarious. What? 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 The darky and the alligator. Adam. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam and the Don. So it was when we were fighting Mexico. What do you mean I can't read it out loud? I just did. Bell toy on a pig. I'm just reading what it says. I didn't make any of my own comments. This is a reproduction done in 1971 of the 1985 catalog. So this is, you know, 40, what is 71? 40, 40 years ago? Oh. No, 50 years ago. Acrobat wheel. Look we'll at some of the boats. Those are cool. So these are all cast iron toys to look for. And you know, whenever you find them, there's tells you it's 1883. There's obviously a lot of these. And A.C. Williams Toys and Company. They made like <laughs> die-cast cars like Barclay and Hubley. So, little car sets. Aunt Jemima Bank, Darky Bank, Policeman Bank. Ball Player Bank. There's a cock. That's what you get in this lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, look. And this big one. So I'm going to give you guys a big one here. Look at this. Look at this. This one is awesome. Look at these cap guns. You would put caps between the little, little guy right here. The Chinese bomb, the Piccaninny bomb, Chinese, another Chinese bomb, Mikado top. That's actually really rare. These are little jumping toys. This is awesome. Mechanical boxers. These are wooden base mechanical wind ups, and they would dance and jig, do jigs and stuff and box. There's a skeleton dancer. Luckily. Walking Santa Claus, hanging dancer. You can't have that now. Uncle Sam, Velocipede. 
women's rights mechanical toy, mechanical stump speaker, the famous Negro preacher, old nurse, clergyman, Mikado Japanese combinations. These are really rare. You never see those. I mean, not even at the best of auctions you see that stuff. But look how huge this catalog is. Mother Goose, or uh, uh, who lived in the shoe? The little old lady lived in the shoe. Nope. Look, cats playing instruments over here, and a monkey playing a fiddle. If I played a fiddle, people would say I was a monkey playing a fiddle. <laughs> Baseball player. They're sold. Okay, well, then I'm done looking. I'm done looking then. Nancy. Uh, Nancy, that was a steal. It was like six dollars a piece. Bargain day. Bargain day at the Buys Lot Warehouse. That's from Saturday. This is all from Saturday. I couldn't stand in the line without buying anything. Yeah. You, you should have saw, saw Pam and her husband's face when I start like striking up a conversation. The guy's like, hey, I've got stuff in my car. Do you want to come and look at that? Pam was like, she's shaking her head no. I'll get car when it was warm. So look, this is all hand-drawn with writing. From 1900, another hand drawn. Designed for a mantle clock, it says, hand drawn. There are three of these large cards Joseph Dixon, Crucible Company, Jersey City. So, Joseph Dixon, Crucible Company. And then there's these two large ones of Gerard College and University of Pennsylvania. These, oh the Singer Stocking Darner, sold at all Singer shops. So these are from Singer Sewing Machines. These are advertising cards from Singer Sewing Machine. What, University of Pennsylvania or Gerard College? Gerard College. Huh, there it is. Yep. At your age, your dad probably went to school when it was that age. Shut up, Dick. Erie, Pennsylvania, Blockhouse at Soldiers and Sailors Home. Nice early, early postcard. I have something nice to show you. If that is not a we're going to get in trouble look, I don't know what is. I think there was a bunch of really cute, like adultery type postcards. Salem Memorial Chapel in Lebanon. And this one has glitter on it. Again, 1910-ish, if not a little older. Chestnut Street in Lebanon with glitter. Elizabethtown College. This is also turn of the century. St. Francis Hotel in Union Square, San Francisco, California. 1903. Another one with glitter. The Speedway in New York. So this is a racetrack. Underneath one of the bridges. That one's really awesome. Ready here. Get to bed. We can see you. Another real photo postcard. Liverpool, PA. <laughs> of a cemetery. We are enjoying the country for a week. C&W. I don't know why you would say I'm enjoying the country and send somebody a picture of a cemetery, but hey, 1907. Palmyra, PA. Look at the trolley tracks in the middle of the town. This one is 1907 also. Schuylkill Valley, Reading, Pennsylvania. Scenic Overlook, 1907. Palmyra with the trolleys and the horse and buggies. This is a great lot of cards. 1907. How about the Hershey Store Building and Inn? So from Hershey Chocolate Factory. That's really cool. Market Street in Harrisburg also has glitter on it. Yeah, see? To accent like the, the overhangs. Uh -huh. 
they would put glitter. View of Smoke and PA. It's only on Saturday night. Rustic Bridge Factory in the Distance, Hershey, PA, 1906. Furnaces in North Lebanon. Again, now we're going to get into the better stuff. Like, this was awesome. But then you get into stuff like this. This is a great card. Fourth of July. Look, it's embossed with the great Uncle Sam and the fireworks on it. So when you guys list the stuff, you make sure you put Uncle Sam, fireworks, 4th of July, embossed. And this one is 1907 also. Hey, Snapper. Snapper. 1906, President Roosevelt will be here. Drive. Harrisburg. Come to the dedication of our new Capitol building at Harrisburg because President Roosevelt will be here. Best wishes for a happy birthday. Again, great piece of Art Nouveau pottery in there, but embossed. Oh, cute, ha uh, cute Halloween, huh? Cute Valentine's Day card. Where's Heart? Yeah, could be Halloween. Yes, yeah, some are and some are not. Like, like this one. This one is a real photo postcard. Here is a Christmas greeting card with Santa Claus. Somebody wrote Merry Christmas on it. Again, nice early 4th of July card, 1907. Capital of Harrisburg. Nice embossed 4th of July greeting card, 1906. Tower and Hotel on Mount Penn. Very cool. No longer there. Nice little advertising card. So like a Victorian... Fountain City in Reading, 1907. Most of these seem to be 1906 and 1907. Mineral Springs Hotel. Well, that's actually still 1907. It's the same thing. City Park Entrance in Reading. Unused. And then you get into the really cute ones that are funny. Doctor Certificate, Mr. And then it would have, you would write your name there. Is suffering from nervous breakdown and I advise him to take a very quiet holiday from the matting crowd. I have it and change is doing me good, great good. He's obviously like this would have been given to his wife. He's out with a mistress. Really, really early turn of the century. Suffering from brain lag brought on by close attention to details. I order him a seawater bath cure coupled with these medicinal baths are doing me much good. And these are very, very early. And it's with her three suitors. This one's really cool. A man and woman, she's driving his speedboat. He was trying to motorboat her, and she took control. Drink. Don't, oh, to his wife, don't wait dinner special meeting tonight. He's obviously with a lady of the evening. No flirting allowed. Gloomsville on sea notice. No boating, bathing, or fishing. Dull and gloomy prospects of a change. And there's a beautiful woman walking by. These are awesome. These are really beautiful. <laughs> Caught out of town. Much at stake. Don't wait. He's obviously looking at the lady bending over. At the races. Super, super cute. These are Victorian era, 1900. Met an old business friend, detained, discussing important details. Sure you are. Tell your wife that. <laughs> These are great cards. Very close storm brewing. Meaning his wife caught him cheating. You see, it says stung. Very cool. Fine full flavor oysters. Stinky. <laughs> it's funny. 
And the last one in this lot is The Thousand Islands, 1908. So nice lot of great postcards. There's really amazing cards in here. 75 a Greg. Lots of cards that you should list individually. <laughs> I thought it went for 220, Janine. I thought uh, Scotty bought it for 220. Yeah, it's funny. Like, that series of cards is pretty awesome. That's the stuff I used to list individually. So we're at 90 with Greg Lusk. Really. 100 with Nancy Newell. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Oh, wait, we already had $100 on something earlier. Hercules from earlier, Hercules from earlier. Okay. <laughs> now Janine can get her laugh. Oh, awesome, Flippin' Hot Finds. You can thank Pam for that. Pam does the packing and shipping. <laughs> but guys, also remember, Pam does the packing and shipping, so if something's wrong, <laughs> Pam's fault. <laughs> but if there's anything ever wrong, you just let us know. We'll make it right. We have 110 with Greg Lusk. I take it you guys don't need a count. Thanks, Nancy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's awesome. Eleven. That's fine. I get very upset when it moves or stuff around. Yep. So look, there's eleven or twelve just in that series right there. This one's really cool. What do you think, Pam? He tried the motor boater. <laughs> okay. Pam does a good job, guys. Now, what the post office does after us. Yep. She's awesome. We don't tell her enough that she's awesome. Because <laughs> then her head wouldn't fit out the door. <laughs> <laughs> been a really long weekend with you all weekend. <laughs> her and her, her seizure causing cackling, laughing at my bad jokes. Uh, so says Rufus McGullins, that troll. Thanks, Snapper. <laughs> About 150 with Nancy. You see that, Janine? I came I came to her defense. <laughs> he could have said whatever he wanted to about me and I'd have just ignored it. But I came to her defense. <laughs> Don't talk about my customers or my, my workers. <laughs> So Greg Lusk is out. Okay, we're going to start calling it down. Give it the quick call. Uno, dos, tres. I got to stop working on weekends? We got to. Oh. Every, so did the chat, I guess, once it came to my defense. I didn't read it. Got yep, it. yep. Janine, Janine came to your defense. 
I really don't go on YouTube too often, but I'll have to check it out. <laughs> now it's probably better if I don't check it out. <laughs> I told you about it. I know, so I don't post anything. <laughs> cold, 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 and Nancy. There you go. I was very well behaved this weekend. Yes, you were. I didn't have to bet you out of jail one time. Could have been very bad. Okay, let's do some. What are these kids' books? Okay, so here's some kids' books. Fa la la la. Fa la la la. Fa la la la. Look and find Elmo. You have to find him before you can tickle him. Hey. <laughs> so look and find Elmo's world. Some old book with a mangy lion. Let's see. The Happy Lion. Ten dollar start. This one is from nineteen fifty four. Nineteen fifty four. That's what I do. How big am I? <laughs> it's not the first time I've asked that question. This one is first printing, 1968. How big am I? How about Clifford, the big red dog? Like you get some old ones, you get some new ones. Make way for the ducklings. Picture puffin book. How about, this is what my mom used to say when I was born. She said, we've got a chimp in the family. This one is... 1957. Single copy price was 35 cents. And then, last but not least, is this little tiny hardbound covered, the only authorized American edition of the story of Little Black Sambo by Helen Bennerman. And this has a dust jacket. What'd they say? I don't even know what year this is. I don't know what year this is. It's not super old. But. Look, if Dr. Seuss books can sell for $400. That's what you get in a slot. $10 start. Oh, we're going to do some glass negatives today, guys. We're going to do some magazines. Yeah, I have those up there. I see that. I just now saw that. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Oh, 15 with Nancy. Nope. The answer's nope. No stamina. 20 with Jeffrey. <laughs> I thought that shit was a race. The first one to the end first wins. <laughs> My daddy said, if you ain't first, you're last. Oh Ricky Bobby. Oh my goodness. So I have 20 with Jeffrey Stevens. <laughs> we have 25 with Nancy Newell. I didn't even look at the What books? In that room we were hiding in, there were books. I just grabbed the ones that said buttons on them for my mom. Yeah, we did too. I, uh, there was a lot of cookbooks I saw, but I didn't look at the rest in the corner. Yeah. There was no Dr. Seuss I looked. Kyle. <laughs> Isn't that what foreplay is for? So you don't have to? <coughs> Jeffrey Stevens at 30. Oh. Nancy at 35. <laughs> Station went downhill quick. <laughs> I was waiting on somebody to ask me if I could breathe through my ears, and I'd be like, yep. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> I have Nancy at 35. <laughs> 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 What color is the spine on the bed? Or is that this one? Bannerman. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, blue, I guess. Are you talking about this spine or are you talking about like underneath the paper? Here. So, here, this is with the dust jacket off of it. Like I said, I don't think that's super old. 
Ladies. Well, this is an naughty auction for those who are new. <laughs> naughty auction. Right after dark. Could you imagine me after dark when I could say anything I wanted? Oh wait, I already <laughs> I already say what I want. Never mind. Ryan says what he wants even in a line when everybody's freezing to death. <laughs> That's right. I grabbed some old guy's hand at the estate sale. <laughs> he reached over a friend of mine. I lifted stuff off the top of a jewelry box, opened the lid, and there was a watches and other jewelry in there. And she started grabbing jewelry, and I grabbed some because I knew it was going to be reasonable. This other guy reaches over, hits her in the top of the head, grabs a handful. I grabbed the guy's wrist and said, drop it. <laughs> said, that's all ours. See, and you thought I was going to get into a fight. <laughs> I did not. Well, I felt bad she'd already fell down the stairs. That's true. <laughs> I can't believe she fell down the stairs. I did hear something, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, that noise. That. Blah, 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 blah. There was 200 people in that house. It's not more. Yeah, it was crazy. It was not. Not the kind Pam likes. <laughs> sold, sold, sold. sold. Uh, Congratulations, Nancy. So this is the Nancy auction today, guys. Here, let's do something fun. Let's do something fun for you guys because there's other people who aren't here, and I want to teach them a lesson. Let's do some casino chips, guys. Casino chips, right? So you're going to get 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 vintage casino chips so far. <laughs> Teach them not to be here on a nice day outside. Actually, they were very mean to the women at the estate sale. The women were getting Desert down. Sands. Yeah. I was yelling at people. I was like, don't you touch her boobies. Well, he was just rude, like, you know. Hey, Brian Cloud. So let's do a couple sleeves of casino chips. SMS. I don't know who that is. Here's another one of the Mouse Club. Here's Danny. Here's McGuire Club. This is another. Pick Hobson's. Costa Mesa Legion. BPOE. This one's got a like a Star of David on it. Tulip Club. So there's probably some pretty rare ones on this one. Um, this many? No, I don't know. 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7. 27 on that sleeve. 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Six or seven, four, eight, four, nine. Forty-nine. People are very, very nasty this weekend. Yeah, they were not nice people. Did not have the good time. <laughs> there was awesome stuff at the sale. Yeah, Killer but that's stuff. why, and everybody's bent up in the house. So we have Tommy in at one hundred. And Tommy, did you get the email I messaged you? All of the. The photos from that lot are music. The ones that I'm working on trying to buy from the guy. On 30 with Danko? My wife said, you better not spend $60,000 on photos. And 15 with cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your husband will never be the same. Yeah, they really are, Nancy. It was, it was, uh. Not usually, like. Usually it's not too. This one was fierce. Yeah. People are out to hurt each other. If I would have known better, I would have. I would have like ate beans before I went. If I would have known better, I might not have showed up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at one thirty with Danko. Yeah, I know Tommy. I'm. I'm trying to. 
work a deal to buy more in little segments because I just can't justify dropping sixty thousand dollars on photos, especially when we're trying to put together money to buy a house. One fifty. Does that mean <laughs> Brian Brian Clausen at one fifty? I believe <laughs> a buck free fifty. <laughs> so Brian's in at one fifty. <laughs> Yeah. Jim and I Thrifts was actually there. Uh, said hi to me. And then I don't know who there was another person there that if you're watching, we're going to give you a shout out. Just comment that you were at the estate sale. Um, I didn't either. I didn't catch his name or I don't remember it because of everything that was going on. But if you guys haven't checked out Jim and I Thrifts, she has a really great channel. She does estate sales and clothing and other really cool stuff. <laughs> so we're at 150 with Brian Klaus for 49 chips. It's on three bucks a piece. Ship. Good. And I think Mountain Man asked us about Troy. You're here, right? You asked about glass negatives. I think I do believe that we. Pam, did we trade up glass negatives? We did. We did, yes. Yeah. Tommy's in at 160. Never been able to see, so how do I show up and make everyone angry? <laughs> walk up and down walk up and down the aisles with pockets full of change, like quarters and dimes and nickels, and throw them in the air and let them hit people, and be like, Uncle Scrooge McDuck is here, bitches. Make it rain. I'm going to go with peeing on everybody's shoes. I don't know. Just look important. That's what they tried to do. <laughs> so we have Brian in at 180. Tommy came in at 180 just a second after him. He didn't ask about glass negatives? Troy, no. Well, I know he asked about magazines. We're going to do magazines too. <laughs> so 180. Brian made everybody mad by forgetting to bring them coffee and sandwiches. <laughs> I brought Pam and her husband's coffee and sandwiches. <laughs> or just sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. It was like 12 degrees outside. Tommy's in at 200. <laughs> Tommy, just come and cut in front of the line. That's all you do. Or Kyle, that's all you gotta do. Just come in, come in front of him, cut in front of the line. Tommy asked you a question, Pub. What did Tommy ask us? He wanted to know if you wanted to go in together. And what on the photos? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I still gotta convince my wife. <laughs> And we're going to, I'm going to do them here. Lots of 10 and we'll start them out at, what's it going to cost me to ship 10 magazines? $15. So we'll do $15 starts on 10 magazines. <laughs> yeah, that one was Brian like is out. Danko is out. It was like that on Saturday. It was just as bad on Sunday. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. And I've been to a lot of estate sales, and people are generally not like that. I think it's because everybody's cooped up, and you know, all of a sudden you have an estate sale full of Victorian furniture and yeah, decent items. Then you're like, "Ooh, gotta get it." Sold, sold, sold to Tommy for two hundred. I was like, "Look, I'm just here for the buttons. You touch my mommy's buttons, and we go fight." Uh. Okay, let's do some more starting lineups from that dude. Okay, let's see who we have. We have Larry Walker. This is a 1998 Larry Walker. We have 1997 Dion Sanders. Sean Casey. Good job, Tommy. We have Ben Grieve and J.D. Drew from the 1999 Extended Series. So you have three from 1999, Larry 1998, and Deion Sanders from 1997. What are you looking for? Let me get that, I think. <laughs> I 
got too much stuff. Oh, do you want me to go pull the cart? Cart and move the. I'm not big lots. I can go around you. I was trying to do smaller lots. That's fine. Pam's clearing our table. So ten dollars start on the starting lineups. Let me come over here and see where you guys are at. Oh, Janine said fifteen dollars. That's good. And Jim Epistelli's in for some of the music photos. Hmm. Nancy said little plastic men do not do it for me. I put them up there. So you, didn't, so you didn't have to walk all the way back in here. Ferdinand. <laughs> Freaking hate this. So we're at 20 with Jeffrey Stevens. Nancy, think about it like this. They don't ever talk back. They're always ready for action. It's really easy to clean them. So we're at 25 with Picky Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Nancy said she don't want no short, short man. <laughs> don't want no, don't want no, don't, 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 don't. They said easy in garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we bought well i'm owed 30 more boxes but they've got really hot lately like over the last two or three months the prices are skyrocketing because people are breaking them open and taking the cards out and grading the cards like geez even the 88 jordan you used to buy it for you know 50 bucks 75 bucks it was the best starting lineup. Now you're paying five or six hundred, and the card can sell for fifteen thousand. Brian Klaus is out because he dislikes JD Drew. So we're at thirty with Picky Nicky. Looking for any advance. What is nice though, these are very light. I have to admit, emptying the truck of these was easy. When we got to the max, not so much. <laughs> 32 with Jeffrey? And 32 with Jeff. It looks like it's just between Jeffrey and Picky Nikki at this time. So if anybody else is going to come in, make sure you guys come in now because once one of them says out the other one will win it instantly we're going to go to a no timer auction whenever we're down to two people Nikki let us know if you're in or out <laughs> no problem Nikki Always, even though I'm the one selling and, and I make money off of it, I will always tell you to follow your instincts because even I don't know all of these. Like To me, the Deion Sanders is obviously the best one because he's the most recognizable of the players. The better players bring better money. And as the values continue to rise, these are good investment pieces. Here's the J.D. Drew again, since Brian doesn't like him. 1999 Extended Series. We have the 1998 Glenn Allen Hill. See, I don't know who he is either. But I know the other three in here. So these are starting lineup elites, exclusive Pacific trading cards, which means this Derek Jeter card was only... So what year are these? 2000. So what year is Derek Jeter's rookie, everybody? Sammy Sosa's rookie? Is it 2000? So there is a Jeter. I would say that that is a good bet to be a good one. Here's a Sammy Sosa. 
from the same line and a Greg Maddox. I know all three of those guys. And the cards look really good in there. So that should help because Jeter and Sosa are there. JD was the Phillies number one draft pick and he refused to sign with them. Yeah, and then he probably didn't get anywhere because I don't know him. <laughs> 35 with Nicky? Not the rookie years. Okay. 1993 is Jeter's. Okay. That helps. Jeter's rookie year. What year is Sosa's rookie? See, this, this tells you guys, like, when I sell you sports cards, I have no clue what I'm selling you if they're not pre-1975. If it's not marked on a little plastic sleeve, I ain't taking the time to worry about it. What's up, Evil Lenny? Yeah, it's it's going to be good. postponed by a, by a month because opening day for season isn't going to be April 1st. It's going to be May 1st this year, I think. Oh. I think they've already postponed it. Five little men in unusual positions. <laughs> nice. Well, Nikki, as, or wait, who said that? Answers. Oh, and everything. Some men are bigger than others. Look at the size of those figures. Oh, okay. So, 90 and 93. These are both from 2000. Thank you very much. 42 with Jeffrey. I did have a Snickers for lunch. One of the best cards for Peter right now is 1996. From Oh. That's on the pile. Yeah, it's like PSA cards are in. Same. Like, just the prices are so crazy. Yeah, but then type in SLU and then PSA. Starting lineup, PSA, but just SLU, it seems to be that's how the card guys list them. The Jordan card, I think there was one that sold for $15,900 from the 88 Jordan. Gold, gold, gold to Jeffrey Stevens for $42. Congratulations, Jeffrey. I have one more tray of starting lineups up here, so we might as well just get to them. We've got Mark McGuire. Starting lineup are a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you send regular right now, 10 months to a year. And they just almost doubled the price on everything. King Griffey Jr. used to be one of my favorite players. Probably because I had just started collecting cards back in 87. So in 89, it was like, oh, Griffey Jr., Upper Deck Rookies. So there's two King Griffey Juniors and two Mark McGuire's in this lot of these elites. Fifteen with Nikki. Also, Brian, I want to tell you thank you for the heads up on George Mayhew. Three dollars each on Saturday. Nice. Oh, Jeffrey, you're welcome. Forty, Jeffrey. Like I said, guys, my goal for all of you is to make for all of you to make money because obviously if you guys don't make money you can't come and shop so good business is that we all make money together and pam says good business is getting stuff out of brian's warehouses so when we went this weekend, you were telling me what stuff was. Or it was good. You always do that. It's because I have enough stuff. <laughs> no kidding. 
So two King Griffey Juniors and two Mark McGuire's. I'll not see everyone who is you. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> but Kyle, if you win, you know you're still going to make money. So we have Jeffrey, are you in at 42 on this slot? Mm -hmm. I don't know if he was still been in on the last slot or not. Nope. Nope. This he just jumped the bid. He's like, Psh, why waste time? Oh, we got oh, I'm fine with more lots. Well, I got a thousand starting lineups sitting back there. I need to sell. I get the other 30 boxes. Okay. What the heck is this other than heavy? Oh. Okay. Sorry about this one, guys. Pam put this on the table. She said, you're going to sell some of these and you're going to like it. Illustrated Golden Dictionary for Young Readers. Nineteen fifty one. Yeah, I mean I would think that like some of the cards might be way more expensive by the time they're done. Victorian patterns and designs in full color, all hundred plates from the practical decorator and ornamentist. So it looks like this is pretty cool. Oh, these are awesome. So it looks like it reminds me of wallpaper. Different wallpaper designs. Renaissance. So very cool. And for those of you looking for a hooker, I mean, uh, the hook book. 16 rug patterns illustrated in color. Look, this even has a little crocheted cross inside. How about fun with clay? I knew clay. He wasn't very fun. Oh, maybe they mean the, the mud substance. Painting Surf and Sea, Harry Bollinger. Nineteen fifty seven, this is a second print in nineteen sixty two with the dust jacket. Painted treasures, so it's like shabby shaking, crafty or whatever. Pam puts these together if you can. Any techniques. Folk art of France, decor folkloric. Paint magic, the revised edition. You do it yourself. How to install marble video VHS tape. It's still sealed. It's interesting. A do it yourself VHS tape. Sunset basic woodworking illustrated. Sunset woodworking projects. Sunset Furnishing, Furniture Finishing, whew, Black & Decker, Carpentry Tools, Shelves, Walls, and then another wood carving book. That's what you get in this lot. There are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items in this lot. See people in my bunghole. So nice lot of books, a lot of painting and decoration <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, maybe snapper in at eighteen. The great coin Julio. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> shut up, Beavis. <laughs> eighteen with snapper. 20 with Nancy. <laughs> oh 
my god. Kim's never gonna let me have Snickers again. Never. <laughs> Twenty two a snapper. Laura, you're gonna eat a sandwich. <laughs> She's like, that's it. Go to the green door and eat some meat. I'm like, no, no. What? Not again, Grandma. Nancy in at 25, Snapper in at 22. I don't know what that is. Kyle Elliott might. I hope he does not. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Snapper is out. Thank you for your bid, Snapper. We're at 25. Let's start calling it down. Getting the <laughs> Only getting? Jeez. I work almost every weekend. No, well, I usually play some video games. Okay, let's sell it. Sold, sold, sold. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the other lot of books while we're clearing some stuff off. I think these will do much, much better because these are awesome. I like these. So, Giant Tabletop Book of Georgia O'Keeffe. I mean, this book was probably very, very expensive. No. So this is George O'Keefe. Uh, I'm sure most of you know who George O'Keefe is. Does paintings. Very, very famous artist. But great book. Oh, did I just see boobies? Not yours, Pam. Jeez. I did. Boobies. Okay, so Georgia O'Keeffe book. Nice large one. Legere, another very famous artist. Yeah, this lot's much, much better. This one is signed in the front. Let's see who the smaller box Abrams. Hmm, I don't know if it's actually signed by the editor or artist. Yeah, no, this is fine. Very famous artist. I'm sure that these people actually probably know much more about these artists than I do. I just happen to know the names and that they're famous. So another hardback with Dust Jacket. 50 Centuries of Art. This one's an early book with the Dust Jacket. Rosalyn Chasson. So this is director of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Miriam Woods. Francis Henry Taylor. Early art from the Metropolitan Met. There's a Toulouse Lautrec poster I just saw. I only know that because I've owned one or two. That one there. So, very cool. Some of the masters. Really early paintings, 50 centuries of art. Check this one out. Fire and Form, the Art of Contemporary Glass. Nice hardcover with dust jacket. Even has the Norton Museum of Art gift certificate for Fire and Form, valid through 03. That's pretty interesting. But look, look at the art. I'm surprised Pam didn't take this one. Let me see these. Wonderful. Lots of like glass art. So very, very awesome. Oh yeah, yes, I did. Thank you very much, Jason. I did. Michael Yagamer Nelson. This one looks to be Maybe he did like hooked rugs. 
It just seems like it's like Aborigine heart, but it looked like it was rugs. They're all little dots. Here's another really nice Georgia O'Keeffe. This is a paper bag version. We have then we have another one. Hardcover. We used to, used to have the hardcover version of this. So, another beautiful Georgia O'Keeffe book. And these are big. Like I'm not even gonna compare it with my hand. <laughs> My hand gets jealous. Rene Marguerite. I do not know, but something tells me that that picture is not some guy going, oh! <laughs> now for an F55. <laughs> uh, this one's got a name put in the top. I just don't know if it's... That's actually a very famous uh, image. Odej. Odej is the name. I'm hiding eyes going on over here. <laughs> Here's another hardbound with dust jacket for Georgia O'Keeffe. Famous paintings. This one's awesome. Uh, this one was five dollars at some point in time. Art through the ages, Renaissance and modern art, ninth edition. This is a giant, thick book by Hobcourt. So, how about munch? Look, you put these two together, you can munch this. <laughs> Never mind. This is the scream on the front. This is in memory of Edith Pashby. 1990. Awesome. And guys, there's another one. Frida Kahlo. No, but it's kind of strange right there. Uh, monkey, yeah, my monkey next to the girl. <laughs> uh, some of that's a little strange to me. Look, it's leaking. Ew. And, and ew. Pam said, ew. <laughs> it's art. You can show it on YouTube. Look, ooh. ooh. Is this actually drawn by them? I don't know. You don't think that's actually crayon or done? Prior to her death in 1954. Yeah, I don't think that's 1954. But it is very... <laughs> these houses and these estates somebody drew this and i'm like you know if this is actually her drawing like this just you know here's a twenty thousand dollar piece of paper i'm throwing in because i don't know any better never know look it's leaking Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve books on art and paintings and artists. We are at a hundred with Danko. Okay, so we have one hundred with Danko looking for one ten. It's a deal. Seven bucks a piece shipped. Bargain. Those are big books. They are big books. For sure. Most of them are hardback. Yeah, very nice. 
<laughs> and it's definitely heavy. Good thing T's not here. T used to love books. Ugh. One fan with Jerry. And there's another one right there. So this is what you're getting in this lot. One with Jerry. I got to plug in the light tray so we can do some of the glass negatives because I think that some people in here are going to be very interested. <laughs> What did he say? What are you, 25? Oh. Thanks, what, 120? Yeah, awesome lot. It's going to cost, well, we can ship that media. Even make the plug in the light trick. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Kyle. I was like, what are you plugging in? <laughs> How am I making that sound dirty? What are these up here? Here. Let's sell one. I haven't seen them in here. I, I know what they are. Sound like buttons. They are buttons. From when I was in San Diego and I bought out that guy who owned two Taco Bells. When I bought all those superhero glasses, like oh, when I, I bought all those original cases of superhero glasses. And then he had all the the Star Trek promotional stuff. Oh, I bet you that that's what these are. I wonder where they are. We're going to open it in front of people. Whoa. Just because they're sitting up there for the last five years. Jerry is out. So sold, sold, sold to Danko. Sold, sold, sold to Danko. Sold, sold, sold today. Okay, okay. In up on top of the shelf forever. Uh, when I was out in San Diego, this guy's family owned two Taco Bells back in the 70s and early 80s. And in the basement of his house, he came to my booth and he had all the original like store displays and stuff like that. And I bought 200 cases of the superhero glasses. So these are when you worked and they did the release for the movie, for the Star Trek movie, these were the pins that the employees would wear. If I remember right, there are four different ones. There's Talar. Being home with Talar. <laughs> and these are large buttons. There's only three different ones. Oh, no, there's a fourth one. Being home with the Enterprise crew. So you had to be an employee at the time to get these. It wasn't something that they sold in the store. I had original like posters and the hanging displays and all of the Star Trek glasses. You used to get the glasses at Taco Bell. But you get three, six, six, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven. You get seven sets of all four, all four different Star Trek pins. These are 1984 Taco Bell. There you go. See, 1984 Taco Bell printed in the USA. And like I said, you had to be an employee to wear these. You wore these on your uniform when you were 
were selling the character glasses. Starting with Nancy. So there's 28 total buttons, and they're large. They're probably three inches in diameter. Does this look about like three inches to you, Pam? Sorry, <laughs> <recall> Greg. <laughs> no, I mean the pen. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Six with Nancy. Do you have any of the characters left? MC, I sold all of the superhero glasses that I had to a guy in Jersey. Um, I sold 212 cases of 24 glasses each. We had Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, and then in these we had all the Star Trek glasses as well. Sold <laughs> all those. I had the die cut standee displays, the hanging displays. Yeah, we don't have any sold, glasses. yeah, sold almost all of that. No Star Trek glasses anymore. Hey, Carl. We have some Smurf mugs. We have Smurf mugs. We do. <laughs> A lot of them, actually. So you get seven complete sets of the Star Trek pins that were only available for the employees at Taco Bell during the 1984 Star Trek movie. 42 with, Lic uh, with Linda, 45 with Nancy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Kathy's in at 50. Hmm. Kathy Bauer, you bought the Architect, the 1890 era, I believe. Yeah. Um, we just found another one, but it's from 1910 in the boxes of books that we're going through to sort. If you're interested in that, I think the other one sold for 700. Mm -hmm. If you want the 1910 one, because it is 20 years newer, if you want it at like 400, I'll just sell it to you. Um, just because you bought the other one, I wanted to give you first shot at it just in case. But just let me know. You can either message here and say you want it, and if you do, then I won't even bother bringing it up. We just found it today. So. A little bit newer, it would probably not bring the 700 that the other one did, but it's very similar. So we got 60 with Kathy. And there are seven complete sets of all four from Taco Bell. Greg Lusk is in at 65. Kathy's in at 75. And these are the four different ones. Beam home with the Enterprise crew. Beam home with Cruise, 1994. Beam home with Spock. Live long and prosper. And beam home with Talar. Yeah, and you get seven complete sets. So we're at 90, looking for 95. Greg Lusk is in at 100. <laughs> 115 with Kathy.
125 with Craig. Somebody went and did research. <laughs> Is it all the glasses? We sold all the glasses here. That's how I made space for all the pinback buttons that are in the back. Because remember, I shipped back pallets of the glasses. I'll email you, Brian. Okay, Kathy, no problem. I just wanted to give you first shot because you bought the other one. 135 with Kathy. Oh, you know what? Since I have you and Nancy here and Greg, wish Scotty was here too. I wanted to show you guys something. Oh, is he? Scotty, if you're here, make a comment. And Carl, I know Carl likes to do some researchy type stuff. I'm just grabbing something out of my office. A few of you might have seen this when Kim did her auction on Sunday, but I'm super excited about this. and It's too much money for me to buy it, but I think there's a huge amount of money to be made on this deal, and I'm going to see if I can buy pieces and parts from the guy. Awesome. Congratulations, Kathy. What are we selling for? 135. Kathy, I have a second box here. It doesn't open any knife because it's obviously not the right box anyway. But it's been sealed forever. And I think this is more of those pins, but this is all I would have because these have been sitting up on the, the top shelf. See you, Phil. And Evil Lenny, are you still here? Jason is very knowledgeable. So here is another box of those. I don't know if it's seven more sets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thir
if you think I should pursue it in smaller lots and try to buy certain lots of it from the guy, he has about 400 of these posters. There's different ones, but he has about 400 of this style of poster. Some are black and white, some are color, or some have different, all 1860s, 1870s. Okay. Yep. Um, and I'll show you. And those aren't what I think is the coolest stuff. This is the original layout right here from 1911. This is one of the samples that they would have shown to them and said, like, hey, we can make your certificates look like this. And this one is 1911. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's – yeah, it's – Let's put it this way. The price I was quoted is $150,000. But here's why I'm excited. So Scottish Rite or Supplies, so from CE Ward Company in Ohio. And you can see, like, here's the order forms, the catalogs. So, like, all of these catalogs have these amazing illustrations in them. The collection includes all the original artwork used for these catalogs. So the hand painted images of like this outfit, there's 4,000 of them, all different. There's hand painted ones of the murals. Um, they, oh, they also did stuff for military because they had, um, you know, they had stuff for Princeton, like the colleges, military band outfits. He has some of the medallions. Um, he has some of these banners, these flags, but I have all the original. Well, he has all the original artwork for these. I was super excited about it because, you know, when you start thinking there's 500 to 1,000 of these Masonic catalogs, and this is turn of the century or earlier. This is probably 1890 something. Um, yeah, it's so Freemasonry, Scottish rites. I don't even know what year this one is. Um, so there's the Scottish rites one. There was three companies that made the stuff. CF Ward was the biggest and they were the ones that lasted till the end. They bought the Lily Ames company, and this is Masonic Supplies. You know, the ledgers, the guy's got ledgers. He's got banners. He's got uniforms. Um, but so the catalogs are very, very cool, right? You know, everybody likes the catalogs. The catalogs sell really well. Costumes for the high priest, you know. But so to see these here, look. And this is a later one. This one's probably 1930s or 1920s, and then they laminate them to keep them in good shape. But this is all hand colored. And this would have been the stuff that they used for these. And this one's probably like, like I said, 1920s, 1930s era and then laminated to keep them from deteriorating over age. But like, here's all the different costumes. And you, you can tell. But here is like, here's one of the original paintings and drawings of one of the outfits. I have pictures on my phone of a bunch of the other ones. The first poster. Oh, yeah, that big one? Yeah, it says... Yeah, the copyright on the bottom of it is... Well, now, this would have been earlier because you can see the paint is actually coming off on this one. So... So this one might be a little earlier than theirs. See? Congress at Washington in the year of 1879. Published 
after entered according to the act of Congress. So that's what that one says. But like I said, the original artwork is what's really exciting to me is this stuff. Yeah, there's 500 to 1,000 of the catalogs dating back to 1870s all the way to like 1948 or 49. Then there's, like I said, there's roughly 4,000 pieces like this or like that. These ones are in most of them. Some of them have stippling, so you can actually feel the different parts of the paint. Some of them are, are the artist to sign them. Um, some of them are, you know, obviously for, like this was for a chapel, apparently. Um, but like I said, it, it winds up being a little over 6,000 total pieces. So it would cost me about $25 a piece across the board which is a great price, but, you know, whenever you're trying to buy that much of it, it's almost impossible. Yeah, yep, this is all hand done, this one. And then they laminated it. Oh, this one? Oh, this one? Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, you can see it's, it's coming apart because it's been damp. But it's definitely on linen. So just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Maybe somebody knows somebody, you know, big into that stuff that's got much deeper pockets than me. Um, it is amazing. And I think selling like the individual paintings, you know, you could even fashion design art sells for a hundred, 200, 300 bucks a piece. And they're not as old or historic as these. So I thought you guys might get a kick out of it and, might know somebody that I didn't know and I like to bring that stuff to the light you know speaking of light we're going to move right into a light tray here we go so if anybody knows anything about that stuff or knows any people for me to contact you let me know if I buy it flip it give you a finder's fee or whatever commission So, okay, so here is these are glass plate negatives. Early 1900s, you can see all the cemetery stones all over the ground here. This is the interior of a chapel or of a building. There's like park benches leading up to the building itself. So we'll do a $15 start on these because we got to pack them nicely for you guys. And they are original glass plate negatives. This is interior, probably of that building. So here in memory of the men of Birkenhead who gave their lives in the Great War. I'm going to move these off so that I can show you the other ones. So there's two, three, four. And then here is a full plate, a really large one, of Barclays Bank Limited. Here is, oh, this one's awesome. I'll show you guys. This is the 1919 Roll of Honor from, but it's the field hockey team from Holt Private School. <laughs> and the girl is there with the field hockey sticks. So from 1919. Oh, Chatworth might have knew somebody. He knows lots of people for those Masonic original art and stuff. 
Yeah. Yep. Just make sure you send it to Mr. Bizelot seven nine five at gmail dot com. Another field hockey, nineteen nineteen, nineteen twenty. Oh, look at this one. Cricket. So this is a boys cricket team. Again, 1918 to 1920 era seems to be when all of these were. So there's three sports ones right there. Actually, put this one on the thing because it looks awesome that way. Here's some mushrooms. Shrooms. Another mushroom. This one I have no clue. It looks like a swamp. Another swamp. Or doing by size. This one that looks like a bunch of like little wooden things and it looks like there's a river down here. And here is Toulon Les Portes. At the, a little, so some kind of an arsenal at Toulon. So there's a bunch of pieces in here. Two, two three, four. Three large ones of the girls and the guys. Let's see. Three, six, seven, and that bank. Eight, nine, ten. Those are half plates. These are half plate size. Eleven, twelve. So there's fifteen. Is that what you put on track? Fifteen. Sure. <laughs> no, I went to the garage sale. What in the garage sale I went to? We're at sixty with Nancy. I'd be super excited about that, like million dollar negatives. So we're at sixty with Nancy on this lot of fifteen, but there's three that I think are phenomenal, like these, the girls' field hockey, and then the men's or boys' cricket team. Sixty-five, right? Back to so you get all 15 pieces. I bought these out of the back of the guy's truck, yeah. Why are you shaking your head at me? Right, always shopping. <laughs> Before the estate sale, during the estate sale, after the estate sale. Seriously. Left, left at 7 in the morning and got home at 9 at night. And why do I put in 14-hour days? I do it for them. <laughs> for the subscribers. 85 of Greg. <laughs> Back to the out. And maybe because I have an addiction. Mm -hmm. Nancy in at 90. Hey, George Galagos. So if they're interested in that original art stuff, the Masonic Lodge posters, catalogs, make sure you email me. I have more pictures so I can send you other pictures of some of the other art. <laughs> But, have any more of these. <laughs> yes, but not of, I think these were the only three sports ones. I have some that are military, some that have old cars, I think. I think there's one or two with cars. I saw horse and buggies. Here's a miscellaneous. Architectural. I miss their Hot Wheels. So, yeah, there's a few more glass glass negatives. Yes, Carl, we have. Not too many. I mean, what we have? We have one, oh, two, have. three, four, five, six, seven. Eight more trays of glass negatives. Gold, gold. 
Cole to Nancy. Congratulations, Nancy. But like, like I said, these were the only three sports ones that I remember seeing. Yeah, I don't. That was all of them. I'll make a note rag just in case for some reason we find some in a box, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think that was all of them because I had them up front. So this is the interior of one of the college. It's probably like a cafeteria. Military. Um, so this was an academy of some sort. I don't remember if this was the military academy or what the school was. Like they were, like I said, it's all from the same collection. It's just, they seem to be university related or college related. And then there were some of, you know, young guys in military. So here's another really nice large. These are full size plates. Here, Holt Private School Boys Side. That even tells you where that's from. So here's like, you know, scientific right there. I think there's only a few scientific ones. More scientific. This one is mushrooms, I believe. Another scientific. The three or four big ones are buildings. Those are scientific. But then you get to the interior, like the garden. Another really nice garden with a fountain. And we're going to have some photos then too, guys. So like a pew and a bench. The which one? Garden. Oh, the garden. Look at this one. This one's got an awesome painting in it. 44 with red. So that's what you get in this lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's Tony. Here's number nine. Number ten. Got a rest, Tony. Number eleven. Number twelve. Uh, the only location that I found was they had wrote. And on the, the girls' field hockey and the cricket team, it matched. They had wrote Holt Private School, boys' side. So it was Holt Private School, and I'll show you on the, on the one dry plate box. It has some information on it. I'll bring these over. So on some of the dry plate boxes that they were in, it says Briggs and Thornley, Geology Building, Rouse's Clean, Bradshaw, I don't know what that is, Townsend and Hutton, Holt School, Football, and then Cricket, 1929. Um, I thought one of the other boxes said something here. We're at 50 with money. Mr. Parker, Old Painting, L. Pool Cathedral, Cathedral, E.O. Griffith, Fold Stool and Chair, School Interior, taken by Miller. So there were some dry plate boxes that they were in. There was three of those little boxes. Very good job. We're at 50 with Lenny. Okay. 30 did, Janine. He's already wrenched. Thank yep, you. Yep, he's already wrenched. We got him. Horizon, we didn't do comics yet today.
Okay, are we going once, going twice? We have Lenny in at 50 on this lot. Do you guys want me to do these glass negatives in a bigger lot? I can do them in a bigger lot since you guys have interest in them and then might work out better for you. I don't see Nancy bidding on this one, so maybe she didn't like these ones, but... Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations, Lenny. Okay. Just because I have the light tray out, I'll just flip through them real quick. You guys can start your bids, or I can make bigger lots. Either way, you can start your bids. This one's a guy in a, guy in a field. Here is Court of Lions, Alhambra, Granada, Spain. <laughs> There's a street, some trees, an awesome, you know, crossroads with a building in the background. A nice old house. Well, then that means I've got to do at least a double lot. Yep. Double lot. Okay. So buildings, street in front of them. This one's really cool, and it does say something. I couldn't make it out. What it says, let me clear these others out of the way. Okay, so here I'm going to bring this up to the camera here. But you can see the car here, and then here, I can't, what? Yeah, it's really an awesome picture, but it there's there's a banner or a sign right there and I can't make it out something library lending library maybe so here is a inside of probably a church or a cathedral building that one's a full-size plate Bates Motel. <laughs> this is the interior probably of an office in the building. Like I said, these all like pre nineteen thirty ish. Another awesome house with a fountain outside or a part of one of the private schools. Those are full plates. There's a bunch of full plates in this one. This one looks like some kind of a tennis court or some kind of a court behind the building. Unless that's a pool. I don't think so. I think it's a court. That's another full plate. So here's another one with the medallion up above the school. This one says Press Holt Private School, Reese Holt Private School. And we're not even through the first tray yet. There's another one. This one also says Reese S. Holt Private School. I don't know if that's exactly right, but that's what they're marked. Some beautiful architectural house, has some like stained glass windows. Really nice. That's all the full plates. Some people. Here's a field, and there's a sign back here. 
again, another filled with that arbiter. Looks like a stable building or a garage. Yeah. 185 of red. This one, I can, it's really hard to make this one out. Um, but it says Gubbard Stog, 1927. But the picture is very, very dark. Building with the guy outside. And then these are tools and dies. There's a Lincoln, looks like tools. So you get all of those. That's only one of the two lots you're going to get. I'm giving you a double lot. And who knows? You guys know me. I'm, I'm all about making big lots. But that presses some people out. This one's a really awesome like pillar next to a waterway with a really nice building in the background. But there's the the pillar. I don't know where this is, but this is a nice full plate. Gonna start putting these over in that other tray as I show them to you. This one's the interior of some kind of classroom or sewing machines or chemistry, probably probably chemist labs. Another building. Another building entrance is closer up. I'm trying to find the other ones that I think are really awesome. I love the buildings, but there's some that, like, this house is really cool. A giant mansion. It's a different house. This is the interior, probably, of that house. Another interior. It's upside down, but it is an interior. Nice mantel clocks and urns. Another interior. Almost from all guys. Now, this one, I'm not sure what this is. So you can see there's flags hung. So I don't know if this is like, it looks like it's in a church or in a meeting hall, but there are American flags hung everywhere, even down here on the banners and stuff. So I don't know if maybe this was, you know, like for an election or something like that, but you can see all the flags. See other people on there. People are eating with the kids around. Look at the the really intricate like tea set and all the, the flatware and everything on the table. Cute. Oh, this is one of my favorite images. Look at this. That is a lady. Look how I like, pronounced her outfit is. And there's two of her. This one, she has her glasses on her neck right here. But she's got like the scary eyes. And then I don't know what this is. You guys will know. Somebody will know. So I'll do it like this. Uh, it's really hard to see that. I like that too. I wonder if I can make it brighter by sliding this over. So they're like these little like cart type things with four guys. And I can't tell if they have wheels and people inside of them. And they're coming down this path. 
it looks like it's tracks. But there's there's like four people on these little square. They almost look like a phone booth with people inside of them. And there's a fourth one up here. So that one's really cool as far as interesting goes. It's another building. Another building. Uh, interior of a classroom, maybe. And then some old guy smoking a pipe. And that's it in this lot. That's a nice big double lot. Wow, that was more than I thought. So I'm going to slide them back there. They're all back here. I'm going to put my favorite old lady on the up on here on the block just because I like her. And they are two different images of her. What do you think, Pam? <laughs> this one, she's got like a fur shawl on and her glasses. And her corset, you can see like her Victorian corset. Mm -hmm. so really, really cool. Uh, sort of 350 with Nancy. Um, so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, it's really neat, like the way that there's, I guess those are little carts to move people. Pointers. <laughs> yeah, Carl, I'm going to sell all the glass negatives today. That way they're done. It's always my goal, like when I buy a bunch of stuff over the week, like over the weekend, to get myself to the break-even point. Wait, and then steal. I mean, and then sell more stuff. Next week's auction, we will be auctioning Brian. <laughs> Nancy, okay, call it down for Nancy then. If that, if Nancy was the only other bidder, mm -hmm. Brian and Nancy bidding more. Okay. Congratulations, Nancy. These are going to be yours. What is there? Three. I'm trying to see how many more trays of glass negatives we have. Um, yeah, but that one has a it doesn't have glass negatives in it. The one on the bottom up there it looks like it has a book. Okay, so I have three. I have five more trays of these glass negatives. If you guys want to start, just put all five trays together. We'll do it once and done. Or nah, maybe for the, the people who have less money, maybe we'll just do one lot of two and one lot of three. You guys let me know what you want. This one looks like they're workers because this looks like a survey thing or miners. Uh, pretty neat. Interior of a building or mine. Let's see, 1914, 1919. This is the interior of the chapel. <laughs> I mean, if we didn't have other bidders, I guess it doesn't really matter. This looks like... Okay, so we're doing all of them. That was the first comment, right? Okay, first comment gets it, gets what they want. So this looks like the interior of a clother, like a like a millinery store, because there's hats and outfits and robes or stuff like that here. Chair. Now, please tell me this isn't the Pope or something, and I'm being completely crazy. But look at the medallion. Like if that's a picture of the Pope. Then, then you guys are are in luck. This one's an awesome like castle above a water, above a water. Yeah, above water. Bid is four hundred dollars. Drag opened at four hundred dollars. Masonry, some 
But it's going to be five trays of photos, just kind of all done at once of the glass negatives. Look at the street. Look at all the trolley lines and this amazing, like here's the cables above the street. No, Janine, this is part of the, the five trays. Yep, this is part of the five trays. United Kingdom Provident Building. So if somebody can identify where that's at, this is like the entire street. Nope, no single lot. Yep, all one giant lot. So it's going to be five trays worth in this lot. I asked what they wanted, the first person to respond. was was one yeah. one of the bidders so thank you Judean. good job so here see but i don't know who what when where and somebody might know out there yep you open greg 400 bucks so there's the military that one's really awesome I love that big street scene too. This, this street scene is fantastic. And then I don't know what that guy is, if he's the Pope or whatnot. Then this looks like a vaudeville or an opera. Because if you look, the people are wearing costumes. Like there's a witch hat. All of these people are amazing. All wearing different costumes. There's some clown costumes. Foxtrot, it says up there on the on the stage. So maybe it was like a masquerade ball or a costume ball. But Okay, Nancy, no problem. What did Nancy say? Oh, oh no, absolutely, absolutely. We'll just wait till Brian's almost done. Yeah, so there's another building. I just find it easier for me to do it this way. And then that way I'm not really splitting up the collection too bad in case somebody has parts of one and not parts of another. And Okay, here's that that steeple again, and if you look, there's that there's a medallion on the middle of the steeple, and it, there's words written here. I don't know what it is, but then there's a waterway behind it. Okay, so that's tray number one. Okay, so that's tray tray number one. Here comes tray number two. Okay, again, guys working, looks like on a tunnel or something. They're building something. And then this looks like some kind of coal cars, maybe? Because there's... A guy, and there looks like a train track, and these look like mining cars, like full of coal. They actually, look like bathtubs filled with something, but they're definitely coal cars, I believe, or mining ore cars. This one's really awesome with the old bicycles, the family, and the bicycles. Guys, make sure to stop me if there's one you want me to show you something closer of it before it gets lost in the pile. They're in here working. It looks like this guy's sawing a piece of wood, but he's got a cool little like conductor he had on. So this might be the interior of a mine. I don't think she buys glass or negatives. Or she might have left. She might not be here. This one's awesome, too. So it's a bunch of guys. They're horse-drawn uh, carriage in the background. I can't tell if there's girls in the image or not, but... Okay. 
No problem, I guess. I'm just watching to see what he's got in. Here's an interior. Another interior. Yeah, I mean, there's still three more trays after this. Church interior. Another interior. One looks like it's a bank building interior. This is definitely another church interior. So here's one that says Bow Bowhoot Bowol GMBH. So if somebody figures out what that is, they'll probably be able to identify some of the stuff. It looks like it maybe fell down in an earthquake or got demoed. Because the guy's pushing a wheelbarrow with rocks on it. Another house. Uh, this is really cool. Lots of like taxidermied animal skins on the wall in a library with arms over here. Small pictures over here. Obviously a wrecked a squirrel or something there. A little interesting. This one is somebody sleeping or dead, one or the other. I didn't check to see their pulse, so I don't know. This is a cool, scary little house. There's two guys. It looks like in a sawmill. Either that or maybe they're making the uh, the pylons for like a train. I don't think so. All of these glass negatives I just happened to buy this week. So, so There's two more there and then we're almost through the second tray which means there's still three more trays to go it's a nice group shot people oh this one's really awesome so these are like schematics but look lamp and trolley bus standards merseyside civic society and it shows like the different lamps that they had along the route. And then there's pictures of the route in the background. And then pictures of different parts of the trolley itself. So these are like schematics for lamp and trolley bus standards. Merseyside Civic Society. That one's a full-size plate. Here is another one of those. RC lamp standards. Again, for trolleys. Another construction of like a high-rise building or something, because you can see the roof of other houses over here. And then this building's being worked on, and there's big piles of brick and lumber, and then the riveted pylons and stuff, the girders. It's another full-size plate. This one is, oh, here we go. I hop it, bookie, you bet I win, is what that one there says. I hope, here's odds. On river surge, rush away tishy, donut monkey tricks. But it says Jungle Town Races Grandstand. So I don't know what that's from. Private fishing ground over here. So this is probably from some kind of a play or something like that. It's really cool. So that is the second tray of five. Sorry, guys. This will, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's another one of the, the monument. Another one of that monument. It's a cool clock building. And there's a bunch of people down here in the background. And it looks like a little train depot on the back. That really cool clock. 
Um, this is probably a close up of what the one thing says. John Herbert Milton, senior master of the school until 1925. A guy. Oh, okay. Here is a town with some skyscrapers, and this is supposed to be like the night sky painted. But down here's all the little buildings, and then there's skyscrapers there. This is a train. You can see the trains coming this way, and then there's these things that go over top of it. I don't know what they're for. There. I know, but there's some people that aren't participating in this lot, so it always, you know, I'm trying to get through. This one's really, really awesome. It almost looks like a casino, but Monte Carlo or something. So, plus this teaches people, like, you know, if you ever see this type of stuff out, there is an audience. Oh, this is my favorite. This is my favorite slide. So, remember that town? that I have the picture of, let me see. I can set in a couple to the side. Okay. So here you see this picture. Well, then add rows and rows of military guys up and down the street. I'm gonna flip it around so they'll be a little backwards, but. So this is a whole town. One here. So, and then the trolley lines go in here with the lines above. But this is the town with all of, I don't know if they were doing a parade or if all of our military went in at a certain time into this in World War I era or, you know, 1925, 27 era. That one's awesome. I love that. That's why. And then here's here's a full full plate. She make out like some of the stores, and then you can see that's a cafe. And then over here you can see there's signs <laughs> up and down the street itself. And this is a full size plate, and it says Exchange Exchange Station is what it says up here. Raise. Permanent waving. Um, Charles Hayneth Davis something over here on these signs. So there's like neon signs up and down the street. It's really awesome. Mm -hmm. And then. <laughs> and then check this one out, guys. This is another full plate. I mean, you know, it's big. But guys with the... So it's a full group. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Military guys, they have the emblem in between them. They're holding their rifles. Looks like they're wearing, you know, better uniforms, paratrooper uniforms, maybe because there's double ammo belts on. So that one's really awesome. See, I love this stuff. I love history. Okay, that's three trays. That means there's still two trays left, guys. This is a lady on a horse, a horse carriage. Baby with the pram in the background, like the wicker pram. Or carriage. Sorry, I used the word pram. Some women in front of their house. Lady of the house. 
this is that park again. Lending Library is what it says. It says Lending Library State Works. Up to State Works, maybe? Or Up to Date Works, or Up to Date Books. It says, so Lending Library Up to Date Books is what the sign says. This one says Mount Pocono M.E. Church. Mount Pocono Church. Okay, another street scene, a little more rural. Another house, keep grabbing these upside down. This one is also, it's a close up of the a different angle of that corner where it says the lending library. Another street scene. This one I think is in the woods. It's like of a bunch of waterfalls and river. And with rag. Okay. Molding Casting Company. So this is the interior of a store. Right here you can see all the product inside the store. That's really awesome. I love interior store interiors. <coughs> Bless you. Another like field. Okay, now we're gonna go into some more full size plates. Look at that awesome house. Look at the car. Like an old brass era car in the garage. So beautiful. Yeah, that's awesome. The gates, the wooden fencing. Very arts and crafts period. That's another awesome one. Put it over there. This is another one of those um, pedestals there. Mender Rowing Club, it says over here, but it's all these like little kids. Looks like maybe a backdrop or a drape for a play. From that Jungle Town Racist thing. Another house. I am not sure what this one is at all. Maybe an architectural sample of a house frame. I mean, that's, that's what my guess is. Originally, I thought maybe it was a lobster trap. But, you know, who wants to catch crabs back then? This one's awesome. This one's the interior of a gymnasium. So you see, like, the and the boards, like the springboards. And then you see the hanging poles and everything else. So that's the interior of a gymnasium. This one is the interior of a lab in school. You can see all the beakers and all the scientific equipment and Bunsen burners and chemicals and everything else over here. That's a full size one. Another full size one of a row of those beautiful, beautiful homes. Nice large homes with the um, the leaded glass windows. Okay, and there's a couple small ones. This is just a scene of something. This one also looks like the scene of angels. Christmas chimes. What it says at the bottom. I'm not sure what that one is. It looks like a field with a tree in it. This one's another field. And then this one looks to be mushrooms plants okay so we are almost there guys almost there that is four out of five trays we're going to the last tray but wait there's more oh, yeah. that is one. 
very awesome. <laughs> Pastor Nancy, thanks for offering all that blog. So I can get it, but Nancy is more determined to today. <laughs> he says that now until he sneaks in there when I show him a picture of something awesome. Library. Well, there's one more try, Greg. Yeah, we're doing the last tray right now. School room interior. And guys, whenever I do videos of like what I bought, always message me if there's something specific you're interested in. Because I'll tell you guys in a second. I did have somebody message me about the the glass. And I replied to them. I gave them a price for the lot. And they had bought some other stuff. So they passed on the lot. But my wholesale price was less than we're getting at the auction. That could be. I mean, look at this one. So this one says Gentwood Road. That's the name of the road. There's people with a bicycle down here. The road curves around all these great houses. Really awesome. Cobblestone and the edging. Um... We sold, what, three trays? Yeah. Or wait, one was a double tray, right? Yeah, one was a double. And then there was... One single tray. There's two single trays and one double tray. So there's 30, roughly like 60 pieces there. Over 100 or around 100 in this lot. Yep. It's another one of a city because you can see back through the street. There's other buildings and houses in the background. So probably a hundred ish, give or take five. I think I stopped counting at like a hundred and sixty some pieces when I gave the person a price for all of them. Yeah, this one. Proposed hotel, Ashbank, Fims Lane Crew Perspective Drawing, Rigby, Klaus, and Meyer, nineteen thirty nine, Geo Poston. So the, they were planning to build a hotel or something wherever this was, and that's the drawing of it in 1939. And, and then here's another full size, the awesome bedroom interior. And guess what, guys? Last one. This one with beautiful federal uh, mirror, the awesome Parapoint chandelier, the piano, it looks like a Steinway. And that's it. So, like I said, if this is the Pope, this is awesome. This guy here. Let's give that medallion. Wow. And then this is the, the one of everybody in costume. Here's all the circus guys, Native Americans. Uh, there's a witch over here, Uncle Samish looking people here. That one's really cool too. And then you have, these are the, the ones I like the best, like the street scenes, the one with all the military guys, you know, the blank street. And then the one with all the soldiers. Okay. There we go. And here we're going to give you the dry plate boxes, Nancy, that came with these because they have some information on them. But pretty awesome collection. I just did that so that I can... 
turn off the light here. My light box has seen better days. Yeah, a very awesome collection. And I'm sure there's something historical in there. Okay, here's toy catalogs. I know you guys have been waiting for something a little different. Okay. Oh, is that your pencil in your pocket? <laughs> okay, so toy catalogs. These are more of those remade toy catalogs showing all the cast iron toys and stuff from the 1880s and 1890s. And these are actually like 1980. And there is a couple that are probably real. Um, I know that like there's some Britain's catalogs that I know are real. You can see all the trains, the sightseeing cars, the cat and jammer kids, all the cast iron toys. But what I was going to say about the, the glass negatives is the person who emailed, I quoted them $500 shipped for the entire lot. And they passed on it, so I just brought them to auction. Because at 500 I was doubling up. Buster, Brown, and Tig. Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. That's a really cool toy. Alligator and Boy. Happy Hooligan Automobile. So there's three, four, five Bells and Bells toys. Six. Here's Hubbly. For the old, like, stuff. Oh, look at this. What's this? Like, color section? Pull, look, and listen. So there's some color insert here. Folds out. It looks like it would fold out, but. Ah, it does. Okay. Look, it's awesome. Fold out. Look at that. Tell me that's not awesome. As far as an insert goes in this catalog. More toys. Like I said, this is a, so this was the 1929 Hubley catalog and then reprinted for the fall of 1987 antique toy collectors so you had to belong to the toy collectors club to get these remade 1980s 1907 this one is 1970 so you know this is 43 years old dollies teddy bears toys trains hobby horses, sleighs, sleds. Like I said, this is a remake of 1907, but it was remade 43 years ago in 1977. Buddy L. Toys and F.A.O. Schwartz. 1929 Buddy L. Catalog for Dump truck, got a fire truck in color. Pretty cool. Dent toys catalog. So other cast iron toys. EI Horseman games and toys. Long roller skates. There's some roller skates. Gong Bell Company. Bank Watches. Turtle and Clown. Kenton Toys. Hi, T. 
Everybody, Auctions for You is having an auction later tonight. I'm not sure when or where. And if T knows, she's welcome to drop her link. So I aren't doing anything, or even if you are doing anything, you guys should go check out T's auctions because she has awesome stuff I've seen inside of the storage unit she bought. It was pretty fun and exciting. So here's more of these old toy catalogs showing all the old toys. This was from 1983. That's when they remade that one. And then the last one's the Kenton Hardware Company with all the cap pistols and trains and cast iron banks showing all the different great old toys. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. This one's awesome. This one's awesome. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and oh. 13, 14 in the slot, but remember these ones have some color, 14 total pieces. Okay, 615 on Donna Bottolino's channel. You guys, make sure you head over there and check them out. And these were the, the fold open pages in this Hubley one. So super neat. So it's a great lot. 14 original toy catalogs. You had to be a member of that club to be able to get the catalogs whenever you went to the events. So we're less than five bucks a piece. It's a steal. Carl? Gonna drink a little bit of my drink quick. Okay. Does anybody hear like bottles, like turn of the century? I don't, I'm not sure if they're medicine or syrup or what they are, but they have paper labels on them. I bought them because I thought they were amazing. But if we have a couple people in here who'd be interested in seeing those, I'll show them to you guys. How about you guys keep bidding on this lot here? I'm going to make it bigger. Here's another toy. This makes number 15. Parker Brothers Games, number 16. Number 17, J.E. Stevens and Company, all the old cast iron banks. That's number 17. Now this one, I think think is an original. Eighteen of that J.E. Stevens definitely reprint from nineteen eighty three. Pat Lehman toys from nineteen eighty one or eighteen eighty one, sorry. Printed in Germany. Okay. We'll pull those bottles. So I'm making a second one here. So now you're probably going to be getting around 30 catalogs, I think. 27 to 30, somewhere in that neighborhood. Carl Gross. So there's a couple originals in there. Like this one's an original. This one's a 1994 reprint of the old parlor games. Foreign. The great toys. I believe this one is an original 1953 Britain's toy catalog, because if you read here. No, this is a newer one. I just don't know how new. It says reproduced with the kind permission of West Britain Limited, West Britain Limited, 1953. So I don't know if this might be a 30s catalog. They redid it in 1953. 
or if it's later, it has all of the Britain's cast iron animals, shows the original boxes, the zoo, the farm tractors, all the soldiers. Pretty awesome. Crandall's wholesale price list for toys. Toys and fancy goods, China and Bohemian glassware. Brothers Standard Games Illustrated Catalog. So pretty awesome. That's what you get in the slot. Like I said, there's probably around 30 catalogs in there. I grab those bottles. I always look at it like, man, less than five bucks a piece just for the knowledge is huge. You find one of those toys, you know, you make your car payments or your house payment for a year and some of those. Carl at 120. Check and make sure David's okay. Jeffrey at 150. Carl is out. Greg is out. You're going to see a bunch of outs. And it's not bad. Right around $5 a piece shipped to your door. That's an awesome buy. Okay, let's call it down. Okay, let's call it 150. If anybody else is jumping in, make sure you do so before Janine types it. Sold, sold, sold. Okay, I'll do the two that I know are a little bit newer. Not super new, but probably 40s, 50s, 60s, somewhere in that area. So these are WC Fields Frozen Daiquiri After Bath Body Splash. So even I know who WC Fields is. So 1972. So those are newer. Then here is a old bottle. This could be like amazingly good with the embossed lettering. John F. Betts and Son Limited from Philadelphia, PA. Phila. Yeah, fill a da, PA. Huh? Oh. So, John F. Bates, uh, I don't know, whatever. $15. I'm just going to put, I'm going to put like four bottles here. But this one, this one could be really rare. I don't know. This is all embossed lettering. John F. Betts and Son, Philadelphia, PA. Okay. Awesome and then here is, now this one's got a chip. I'm going to show you guys up here. But, you know, I know on super rare bottles it doesn't matter. And I know some of the early brewery bottles are awesome. So, Schwarzer blah blah, Schwarzer in Bach, seven and a half ounce brewing company from Gallatin or Gallatin, Pennsylvania, registered. So this is a brewery bottle. This is really early too. It's got like some calcium buildup on the inside. Probably needs to be cleaned pretty well. But I don't know bottles, guys. Like I just don't. I mean, I'll tell you guys outright, I paid I paid forty dollars for this box of these bottles. And I thought it was like 
the best deal I've ever bought because, you know, you never know. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two lots of five, right? Two lots of five. Sound good to you guys? Okay, here's what I think is is the awesome stuff. So this that's the four bottles. Not the, these two bottles are amazing, but look, this little cork top bottle. Ayers cather catheretic pills, and it has like the paper label with all these little. This is an authentic reproduction, so this is probably not. This bottle is pro. Or this label is probably not old. The other one is dated like eighteen sixty something. But this one says this is an authentic reproduction. Unless this, I don't know how old that label is supposed to be. The bottle is definitely old, but I think that label is new. I just now saw that. So we'll put that over here with those. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Schwarzenbach. There you go. Schwarzenbach. So that's what you get in this lot, these five bottles. So maybe those are the good bottles out of this lot. Maybe I should keep the other ones. Pam will keep them. The one with the skeleton or the one with the piggy? Auction. Okay. Auction. <laughs> yeah, they're old bottles, but I don't know like when they did them. Eight bottles by examining lit, Frank said. Oh, okay. The skeleton. Yes, there is a cool skeleton one, Carl. It's in the next lot. Or yeah, I mean, I mean, if anybody's doing any kind of research, see when they remade these, this authentic reproduction of an 18th century Ayers bottle. I mean, they could still be 1920s or 30s that they remade, you know, 1820s or 30s bottles. Me too, Carl. I collect a lot of skeleton stuff. Hi, MT Picker. I have tons of skeletons. And also, anybody else who's here that wants to be registered for the auction so you can participate, make sure that you guys send us the email to the Mr. Byslot 795 at gmail.com. And then just comment here that you have sent a registration. Well, on a good note, I get $46 out of something I paid 40 for. She did. Like in bottles had skull and crossbones on. Yes, they did. I do have one. <laughs> David is creepy stuff. <laughs> Greg Lusk is out. A lot of cool skeletons, though. So in that way, people have a few minutes to look and see. Just send in my info. Okay, MT. T says hello to you, so I'm sure that you're going to be fine. Yep. <laughs> okay, MT Picker, you are able to bid. You have a wrench now. <laughs> okay, let's let's call this one down, and then I'll show you guys the other group of bottles that I was super excited about until I just read that they were reproductions. Now, like I said, they could be 1920s or 30s reproductions of 1830s or bottles but they're not original 1830s bottles, so it's not as exciting to me. sold to Jerry for 46 To me. Jerry. 
Okay. So here were the other bottles. Awesome giant cork on the top. Here's the lip. If that helps anybody. Ner Moxie nerve food. But see, you can see this is an authentic reproduction. I wish they would put a year on it. And I don't know how old the original was. So I thought they were like 1830s, 1840s probably. And then they reissued them. Copyrighted. But Moxie, I guess they later became Moxie Drink. So kind of neat, just decorative. We'll, we'll say these are decorative bottles. I just saw that. Had I seen that prior to buying them, I probably would not have bought them. But even just as, well, I can't say that. I still would have bought them. This one's for constipation. Bitter wine. Here's a large bottle of something wet. Dr. West, J.M. West Bitters. Thanks. Yeah. And then we'll go to, this one is just the one Pam likes and that I thought was cool. Microbe Killer, Radman's Microbe Killer. And you see the skeleton there. The guy's trying to beat it down with a, looks like a bat or something. See there. I just saw this and I was like, oh, it's so awesome. But right here you can see the lip. Looks like it's an applied lip. That's the way it looks. And then this one's probably the one I think is the neatest. Grove's Tasteless Chill Tonic. Makes children as fat as pigs. So it's got a little piggy body with a with a kid face on it for chills, malaria, and bloatiness. So I just thought that was really cool because makes children as fat as pigs is really funny for you know you know you're overweight. I can fit my hand around both of my kids' wrists. My youngest one. Yes, Jolie, you have an auction on Saturday, right? Jill and Hooley. They're doing some auctions. Jill, you should say what time it is. But yeah, I love those two paper labels on those these two bottles. The one with the skeleton and then this one with the the piggy face, the piggy kid. Five bottles. Two to six on Sunday, everybody. Julie Morris. Okay, we have Greg Luskin at 25. We're looking for 27. We're going to start counting it down if you guys aren't interested. So we have 25 with Greg looking for 27. Oh, Janine for uh, for rock and roll posters. I don't know when I'm if she's going to do one this week because our son's birthday is Saturday. Our youngest one's turning fourteen, so I have a doubt that we're not that we're not doing any auctions this weekend. Going twice. We're at twenty five, looking for twenty seven on the five bottles. Okay. 
here we have Greg. Congratulations, Greg. I think that was still a great buy. Obviously, if they would have been original, they would be great, great bottles. Okay, let's do... Here you go. Empty tray, right? Yeah. It was an empty tray. Now it's whatever's in this binder. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Okay. So we got some more casino chips for you guys. Let's see. Let me pull these here. Oh, why'd they do that? Hey, okay, here's more casino chips for you guys. Vintage gambling chips. Go. So there's 5, 10, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 27 on this page right here. Here's all the markings. You can go to the website to see what casinos or illegal gambling clubs they were for. So we have 27 on that one. And we were missing three on this one. So there's 27 on this one. So that's 54. Total chips, Sundance, Sahara, Louisiana Cruise. I'm not sure what that one says. Some kind of club, very long. Casino El Pinion. This one's got a horse head on it, really cool. J and L. Ten cent casino chip, that's awesome. Casino Miami. So 54 casino chips in this lot. $10 start, and let's see what happens. Nope, oh, Tommy jumps it right in the bat. Oh, there's JJ and Chris. I believe uh, you guys are having an auction this afternoon or this evening as well. So Big Barn and Chris the Goose. If you guys want to drop your link and say when your auction is, feel free. They have awesome stuff. I woke up at 1 o'clock this morning, and those guys were still selling. Can you believe it? Still selling at 1 a.m. this morning. I was like, what is... I was trying to fall asleep and stuff and watch an auction. My wife's yelling at me. But they do have awesome stuff. Uh, JJ and Chris get amazing items house calls and stuff like that. So you definitely want to, if you guys aren't subscribed to Big Barn Auction Company, make sure you guys do because, like I said, they have awesome stuff. Uh, Frank, some of them, yes, because I know there was a bunch in the collection, but I don't know if it's any of these ones specifically. I have to look up each and every one on that chip site to figure out which casino they're from. And they're not like in any kind of order by state or anything. Or at least not anymore. But 54 chips total. I'm waiting on JJ to come up here and buy a truckload of stuff and take it home with him. Leave me a big old bag full of $100 bills. Just enough for down payment on the house down south. Um, anonymous. Every now and then I do. Not tremendously often. I'll bet, Joe. I went to sleep at I went back to sleep at 145 and had to get up at six. 
Oh, it's okay, Julie. He can, he can come up and buy a truckload. I won't even notice it's missing. I really won't. Think of everything that I've sold so far in all of these auctions. All the truckloads to UPS. Hundreds of boxes going out weekly. I don't even know where we have space at. Carl Bach wants some... You know what, Carl Bach? I'm going to hook you up on some Pokemon coming up in just a second. Might not be the Pokemon you want, but it's going to be Pokemon. And then I have that military stuff, guys, that I bought this weekend. I'll sell that to you guys, too. I'm here. Nobody else is running right afterward. Pam went home, so I'm not worried about her schedule. I just know that T is going on later tonight, so definitely want to be done for her and for JJ and them. So six... Okay. Oh, you know what? And I got something magic to gather and I'm gonna put with it. How about that? I'm I'm in a selling mood, guys. I'm in, I'm gonna sell you everything. Everything. We're gonna sell it all to you. Everything I bought this weekend is gonna be yours. Okay, sold to Tommy S. For two hundred. Congratulations, Tommy. Think that on. for twenty out of the way. I think the way the reason Pam might a might be one lot behind you, Janine was she wrote two lots to Kathy Bauer all as one as twelve. I think you might have put it as two. Okay, so I'll do this and then I'll do some of that military stuff that I'm telling you about. You guys want to see Pokemon first or Pokemon last? We're going to do Pokemon first. Because I know we got some comic book people. And I have a few of these left. So Pokemon, Pikachu Shocks Back, issues one through four, the full set. Still in the original package, near mint, mint condition. You don't get just one set. You get two, three, five, six. Oh, look, and seven. Seven of the Pikachu Shocks back for comic lot. So you get seven of those. You get not only that, $10 start shipped. The Electric Tail of Pikachu, Nintendo. This is four issues from the Electric Tail of Pikachu, so it's a different series. There are four comic books in this bag, unused. You're going to get six or seven of those. You're going to get seven of them. I'm going to go grab you another one because I have a couple more. So that way you have an even number. You have both sets. There's four comics in each set, unread condition. What is that? That's the green one, right? Oh, you know what? What? I'm going to make sure because I only have two more of that green one left, and then I'm out of those completely. So whoever wins this lot is going to have the last of those. So there are eight of that one. There are eight of this one. I have Pikachu Shocks back. So that's 16 sets of four. So let's see where we're at. So 16 sets of four. There's four comics in each one of those bags. Issue one through four. And that is two separate sets. So we are at 46 with Julie Morris. Oh, Spencer's going to be upset. He missing this auction. Greg lost at 50. Okay. Now, guys, here it is. I showed this the other day, but I didn't want to sell it because I don't know what packs are in it. But you know what? Here at this building, we don't care. To be honest, at the end of the day, we have so much stuff that if there's an alpha or beta pack inside of this box... Which I don't think there is because I think Alpha and Beta were earlier. I'm trying to see what year it is. It doesn't even tell you. But also this is 2000. So yeah, Alpha and Beta would have been earlier. But Magic the Gathering starter level 
comes with a CD-ROM, but what's cool in this is you get two decks featuring illustrated cards of creatures and spells. You get two unopened 15-card packs inside of this. So there are two original unopened wax packs, the gathering cards, inside of this box. A collectible premium card featuring exclusive art, two play guides, an easy-to-read rule book, and two play mats. Disc. All of that is inside of this box. But what what's really exciting to me is the two unopened wax packs, because there could be, you know, a killer card in those two packs. Those two packs could be good. Like I said, if they were alpha or beta, those are five thousand, ten thousand dollar packs. It's not alpha or beta because I see the year it's two thousand. So it's definitely newer than the ninety four or whatever year magic came out. But that's what you're getting. You're getting eight sets of each of the two different series. So eight sets of four. So you're getting, what, 32 comics? 16 times four, 16, 32, 64 comics. So 16 times four, yep. So 64 comic books and the unopened Magic the Gathering trading card game with the packs inside. And we are at $10 increments. We have Kyle Omen in at $135. Greg needs to be in at $145. Greg, bump yourself up $1. There we go. Greg is in at $145. You know what? I'm Mr. Buys a lot. And, and as such, you guys mean the world to me, and I want, I want space in this warehouse. I want stuff out of my way. This lot just got bigger. You guys are, you guys are bidding. This lot's getting bigger, and this will finish off all of the Pokemon comics that I have. This way I don't have any more. You guys own them all because, you know, Pokemon, you got to catch them all, right? So... This is what I have left of those out of that long box that was up here filled with these. So you're getting all of those. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 more packs of one through four of Pikachu shocks back. So that's a huge lot. You're getting it all. All of my Pokemon comics are right there in this lot going out the door to whoever wins this lot. You get it all. There's, there's a uh, JJ's link, JJ and Chris, the goose, big barn auction company. Guys, make sure to subscribe to them. They do have auctions quite often as well. They have awesome stuff. He gets into some awesome killer warehouses and houses and estates and just gets awesome stuff like we do. So you want to check them out. Bunch of fun guys. Ship your stuff really well. It's very well packaged. So now you're getting, what's that? What's that, 8 and 13? 21 of these sets, eight of this set, and sets total. 29 sets total and the Magic the Gathering box. That way you're getting all of the Pokemon comics that I have, or at least that I know I have, all at one shot. I'm trying to make back that, that money I spent this weekend so my wife stops yelling at me. Who got who got cartoon glasses that you want, Janine? Brian Maroney, there are 13 and 8, so 20, 21 sets of four. There's four per set, four per bag, all four comics. So there's 21 of this set, and there are eight of this set. So that is 29 times four.
So what's that, 116-ish, something like that? Yeah, 116, right? Because 120, yep. 116 Pokemon comics total. Still in the pack and the packaging, like plus the Magic the Gathering set with the two unopened packs inside. So we have Greg Lusk in at 314. We're looking for 324. And guys, if you wanted to get the Pokemon comics, you got to do it now because this is all I have that I know of up here. If I do have more, they're somewhere in one of the warehouses, and I haven't seen them because Pam brought all of them up here at one time. So we are at 314 with Greg, looking for 324. 325 with, uh, with Carl. Three forty-four with Greg. Yeah, the comic book market, along with sports cards. I mean, you guys know I just bought that. Uh, I just bought that that Michael Jordan PSA eight. I spent over ten thousand dollars buying that one card. So we're at three fifty-five with Carl. Three seventy-five with Greg Lusk. Well, you tell you tell JJ to figure out a price on those. Uh, Julie, we had a four thousand dollar lot I sold. I did a wholesale video last night where we sold six thousand dollars in less than ten minutes. So Carl jumps in at four hundred, four hundred with big boom, and you know Carl. For that, you get a quadruple. Hercules! 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 Carl Bach is the new Hercules! Kyle Turan did buy a wholesale lot of stuff I bought on a Sunday. I showed everything that I was going to sell at the auction that day and said, hey, I spent 2200 bucks. If somebody wants to buy it all for 4000 right away, they can own it. Kyle Turan took me up on it. He bought it, so we sold other stuff that day. And Kyle will make a ton of money on that lot because there is amazing stuff in that lot. <laughs> so sold, sold, sold the Carl Box for four hundred. Congratulations, Carl. Stack these up nice right here so that it stacks nice over on the, the bookshelves. Okay, that one's yours. Okay, let's do some more of those, uh, those toy catalogs. Let's get those out of here because I bought those this weekend. Let's just do them all at one time. I, I'm tired of messing around. It's, you know, I mean, I, I like bigger lots, especially when Pam leaves because then she doesn't yell at me quite as bad because she's the one who's made the pack all this stuff but there and we're gonna, we're gonna put all those catalogs together you know what this was in that same box we're gonna put it there too you're gonna get whatever's in this lot all these toy catalogs so if you want to learn about antique cast iron toys and that look a scrapbook about old toys we're gonna let you find out look at all the old ads Showing all the different toys, all the cast iron, what they cost, the mechanical baseball players, mechanical banks, sleds, everything, all one lot. So there's one. How about the Texas Pedal Car Peddler? Parts and reference book. Look at that. Tells you about all the different ones, what year they're from, 1961, different parts you could order for your planes, 1941. He put together everything. So when you're out at the flea market and you find that Coca-Cola car, you know when it's from. You know who made it. When you find that tractor, those airplanes, 
He had the decals, everything. Texas peddler car, pedal car peddler. Antennas, hubcaps, rolling tires. You could order them from him down there by JJ and Chris. Dictionary of toys sold in America. This is toys from 1870 index illustrated and graded over 1,400 listings. So this shows over 1,400 cast iron toys and mechanical bell toys and 10 lithograph toys from the 1870s. Look at that. That is an awesome, awesome, awesome book. So that's number three, the Tootsie Toy Catalog. And again, this is going to be another one of those remakes that were done probably in the mid-80s. This is number four. But this is the last of the, the catalogs on this pile here. The 1936 Parade of Hubbly Toys. This is number five. There's a couple copies of this. But it shows all the different Hubbly toys, all the motorcycles. Look. This way you knew in 1936, when you get a hill climber, you know it's a 1936 one. You can see what, exactly what it was supposed to look like because these are from the original catalogs. So what's that? Three, four, five, six. Somebody keep track for me. This is number seven. This is from 1988, showing the different cast iron toys. Pedal. That's what, number eight? Crooked Hermans, pedal car parts. Number nine, champion cast iron toys. This is number 10. This was from 1985. Oh, look at this catalog, folks. Look at this catalog. 1985 it shows all these original cast iron vehicles just awesome not sure what this one is concourse to elegance pebble beach this is for the auction for cars this is the auction catalog for for vehicles or a car show american live steam toys and their or originations originers originators it does sound like I've been drinking, doesn't it? It's another one of those directory, mostly post-war pedal car reference guide. So if you want to know when you get those pedal cars, who made them, what they're called, their real names, what decals are supposed to have, what parts, this is the book. Five and one pedal car reference guide. Whitney Reed Chair Company Toys, catalog from 1901, 1902. Has awesome toys in it. So if you're cleaning out a house, JJ, you're cleaning out a house and you find these toys, you'll know they're from 1901. Like this boat's probably a, yeah, you know, that boat's a ten thousand dollar boat. I've got buyers for that stuff. Got buyers for the big stuff. Got guys with deep pockets and long arms. Ed Crichton Toy Company, Toy Catalog. Look at that. Look at those pedal cars. Another toy catalog. Now, this one I think is, this one might be an original here. Because Hoge isn't that graciously old. Nope, 1997. Yeah, here's the ATA, ATCA catalog. So you had to belong to the ATCA to, to be able to order these look at the Tommy guns but just look Popeye rowboat it's expensive toy in the box had one of those a while back the Popeye speedboat another expensive toy in the box sold that through Smith House toys before I found YouTube I sold everything they got amazing stuff over the years, we still get amazing stuff. But I remember doing this business back in the late 80s, early 90s, guys. Stuff was plentiful. No webs for these. Awesome. Here's the really, here's the cool one. Marklin Brothers, high cast metal toys. Bought one of these with a friend of mine. Um, this right here at an auction in Massachusetts in Newburyport Massachusetts 
a um, year and a half ago, he paid $140,000 for that one boat, plus the buyer's premium. 10 litho Marklin boats, trains. This is all the catalogs, all the, the different pieces they made. You ever get Marklin? I got the guy for that. He's got the best collection in the world right now. But this is catalog H. There's two of those. This is the 1906 catalog. You get that. I kept one of each of these for myself just for reference so that I don't make mistakes. So whenever I'm out, I see that. I know I can buy it and sell it to him and he'll buy it from me. H and J. Look at these. Big money on some of these pieces. Yeah, you know, Markland, you know, that little car is 5000 or 6000 the, the one with the four people in it is 15000 But the boats are where the money's at. So there's three of those. There's a mechanical toy catalog and a John Varick Company Toyland catalog right here. So that's what you get. There's what, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32. Here's, I'm just going to throw this other stuff in here. Pocono State Fair. So you get 32 catalogs there. Oh, wait. No, these are original catalogs here. Here's an original catalog. Photography. And this is uh, early. 1951. 1951 catalog. For photography and cameras. But it was in that... Here's 1952 or 1954 right there. This is 1954. Photography, lenses, cameras, kinds of cool stuff in there. That's in there. That's an original. How about a Leica M4P catalog? When you look at cameras, guys, this is what you want to see. Lights and Leica. That, that's the premier company that's driving, like, driving a Rolls Royce. Leica M4. This is an original catalog for the Leica M4. Extra lenses, everything. This is probably a really good piece. And 1965 official souvenir program, seven star class C dirt track racing for race bikes. Ronnie, Ro Ronnie Rao and Gary Nixon, who was the first place. Bart Markle was the winner at York Fairgrounds. York Motorcycle Club sponsored this. this so there's probably advertising in there for BSA. There's probably Harley advertising. I just saw Harley. There's some Indian advertising I saw. Pepsi Cola. So pretty, pretty awesome. You get two of those. All of that, one money. I had that Snickers bar. Giving me a candy giving me candy bar is like giving a cat cat nip. So we're at one sixty with Carl. One seventy with Jeffrey Stevens on this giant lot of Reprint toy catalogs. There's actually a couple originals in there. And then the original camera catalogs, the original dirt track motorcycle racing books. Oh, wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. It ain't selling this yet. Ain't done yet. Look, look. I missed a tray. There's two more. He missed a tray, guys. Mr. Trey, you're going to get it all. When I tell you you're getting it all, you're getting it all. Some more of those Hubley toy catalogs. Another pedal car reference. 
another Lancaster Iron Toys Hubley Manufacturing Company. Look at those. Rick Flair ain't got nothing on me. Woo! Boys. Find a house full of this stuff. Have Mr. Bazalot fly out and and come out and help you sell it. Use that Rolodex we still have. Look at these pedal cars. The airmail car. Awesome. That dump truck state body. Auburn. Oh, there's a $15,000 pedal car. Buick. That's another good one. Look at these. Beautiful. There you go. Now that is all of the catalogs. Pam put all the catalogs inside of trays for me. I'm just looking around at the trays and making sure that's all of it. When I say all, I mean all. Backpack Treasures is in at 200. Tommy is in at 210. Carl's in at 225. So now there's, what, 35, 40 pieces in here? All you got to do is find one toy in the house that this book identifies for you. Make all your money back. Plus some. I'm going to call this huge catalog lot. Two fifty with Jeffrey Stevens. Yeah, there's pictures inside of all the catalogs. If that's what you mean. We have two sixty with Tommy. Oh, I remember those, Nancy. So it looks like we're between Tommy and Jeffrey. Like I said, if you guys ever get Marklin, I have, you know, I have the guy for Marklin. Cigar store and everything. He's got, you know, you got shares of Apple you want to sell, he'll buy them. Got 10,000 shares currently, but he'll buy yours too. One of the smartest men I know. For the photo trays, you showed that, showed that went with the slot. Oh, the glass negatives? Is that what they're asking about? Backpack treasures, you asked them about the glass negatives? We sold those already. And we sold 2,000 of the rock and roll music press photos, obviously, last night on our wholesale video, which is all I had. You saw loose photos in the video with these? There were some postcards with, like, uh, tobacco cards in them. Those sold earlier. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else came with these. Oh, these ones? Here. These were in the bottom of the, of the box of things that are right here. These are the only photos that were anywhere close to these. And I have this laying over here to just throw in one of the other photo lots we're going to do. Whoop. 
What photo? Oh. Janine, were there photos in the beginning? I'm trying to find these photos. Hang on. There's catalogs. Are they in the... Well, I haven't went anywhere. Some guitars, I think. Yeah, that's these. It has to be these, I'm guessing. Because these were in that bottom of that box that I had put all these in. Is this the one you're talking about? I'll put those up next if you guys want. They had nothing to do with the, the catalogs themselves. Yeah, that's got to be what they're talking about. On top of this lot right here. Yeah, it must have been this. Because Pam had threw these on top of some of these, and I took them off and then threw all the catalogs together. But it had to be those photos, because those are the only ones that I got from that guy. Okay, we'll, we'll sell those too. Okay, are we sold on this lot? Let's let's sell this lot first, and then I'll sell those. Yeah, when I've had chocolate, guys, it's like throwing three squirrels and two cats inside of a bag and seeing which one comes out. Okay, sold to Jeffrey Stevens for two seventy. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Okay, you guys want some photos? I'll do photos. We can do photos. I like photos. Photos are fun. Easy. I got a gazillion of the darn things. You guys, you guys want me to put new photo with it? Come here, look. I'm gonna add this photo in whatever the next lot is. Kane Notter, Jason goes to hell. Promo photo. Plus these photos, the Bob Englar show. I don't know who Bob Englar is, but they had some nice guitars. But this is Billy. That's Bob. That's Patty Ken and Buck. So if you put them together, that's Billy Bob and Patty Ken and good old Buck. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six of those photos. Six of the Bob Englar show photos. But that, that's just, that doesn't satisfy my Snickers need, guys. My Snickers need does not get satisfied by six photos of anything ever. And, and Jason, Pam made some trays of. This nice aerial photo. This is really early. This came out of the photo collection. Let's see what it says. Union Carbide Division, St. Mary's River. Permission from Union Carbide. This is 1930s-ish. And then we got some old photos here. Pull out. There we go. Not good at the pull out thing there. Pompeii. A kid with a chair. Look at the card. These are all early photos right here. Kids on some sort of bench or something. You guys want a lot. Let's make it a lot. A lot. How about the dog? You get the... Looks like the waves. The women's... The military women. Photo. You're going to get whatever's in this tray. 
photo with the car behind him, 1929. It's dated, playing tennis. I'm not sure where that's at. Mm -hmm. Grand Canyon, PA. Don't know who these people are. Manila, 1926, photo postcard. Alicarn Jacilio, to my right, made him, is my friend. I am sitting down with a Mark X. Some more photos. I don't know why they put this one in a sleeve, unless these are famous people. But I don't know. Mr. and Mrs. A.J. Barrister, Barstow, I don't know. More photos, another photo on board. Can't tell if he's got a cigar in his hand or what that is. Another really early photo, a postcard. Real photo postcard there over there. It's a cow. Another guy. There's a horse. Okay, this is almost Canova Studios. This is turn of the century, 1895. It's dated. Another early photo. Photo, photo, photo. These are all photos on board. 1901. No date. 1895 on that one. This bridal, look at this one. Girl on the piece of furniture. Elizabeth Nichols. It's a really cool one. It's a boy on a bicycle. In the middle of the grass with a big, big mansion behind him. Not sure what that is. Reverend William Trostel. The late Reverend Buick, or Bowick, postcard. There's a group photo. Photo of a cake. 1950s or early 60s color photo, Polaroid style. Here's that 1929 guy playing tennis again with the cars in the background. Pretty awesome. Some more early photos right there. This one looks to be another real photo postcard. Yep, 1906. It's a remake there. Probably 40s. Another photo of a guy in the uh, waterfall. A girl in a chair. Swimsuit. One of those old wool swimsuits. At the beach. This one looks like Maybe he just got home from the military. Early round photo. Harry Groves from Bushnell, Illinois. Lompoc Elementary School. Probably somewhere near the prison. Little girl looks like to be roller skating. Attica, Indiana, 1895. Another photo. Old, old Rockabilly. Cool. Rockabilly's hot. Rockabilly's awesome. <laughs> I did say pull out. You're right. <laughs> so, nice big lot of photos. Huge lot. I mean, that panoramic scene is awesome. So, you get all of these photos for one money. Kyle in at 55. You know what? We're doing big lots this afternoon, right? Let's do big lots. I don't know what this one is. Let's see. I'm going to put this in with it, but I'm not even going to count this because it looks like this has been wet, this album. You know what? I don't even... You guys tell me if you want this album or not. I'm...
I'm not going to count it. I'm going to put it in. No, I'm not even going to put it in there because it is dirty. And there's probably some salvageable photos. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find a I'm gonna find a bag. I'm gonna put this in a bag, and I'm gonna put this album in this lot. So you get all these photos that are in there, but the album has been wet. So I will show you guys my hands afterward, just to show you what I mean in my hands. But so I'm gonna put that into a little sleeve because I do not want it getting all over. the other stuff in the lot but i'm gonna let you guys decide if you want it or don't want it because there could be some great photos in there and it is early a sleeve it's going with this lot better you guys bid better i bigger i make piles i just like some bunches of stuff i just do it excites me it's like you know when you take that new girl home when you're single, not when you're married, you don't want to take a new girl home, you take her somewhere else. I mean, you don't take her anywhere, you don't dare do it. That's how I find out if my wife's watching or not, because I'm going to add another photo on board. About another photo on board, a nice big one. Beautiful. Victorian, California, Los Angeles, California, as a matter of fact. What did you say, hey, Mr. Bob? You got more? How about this one? It's another photo on board. That's right. We're getting crazy up in here. Another photo on board. Look at that one. Dad, Grandma, Eckler. I know, I know we got photo buyers out here. I know we do. Another photo. What you say, Janine? Stop what? What you want me to stop? I'm just looking up. Okay. Another photo. How about this nice little house? It looks like a church next door. Early photo on board. How about souvenir of the world's finest ballroom in Chicago, Illinois? So this would have been a photo taken at this thing of Betty Wagner in 1945. There's a photo on board. Look at the cute doggy. Look at the old outfits. That that guy is, is that a guy or a girl? Whoever it is, whatever it is, we don't label this as the new millennium. It is not happy. Them is not happy. This one's a little faded, but this was a uh like an amber, uh, not an amber type. Uh, I can't think of it. Whenever it's an egg wash. Another early photo on board. Another one sitting on a beautiful little pedestal. A girl with a baby. More photos. So yeah, treat you guys right. Make you big lots. Sell lots of stuff. Then Pam comes in. Kim comes in. They're happy. I sold lots of stuff. Until they got a packet. This lady said when she sings, it's over. Probably an operetta star. Just looks like the balcony there. Anna Winkler. All those girls right there are just saying, should we bid again? What would Mr. Bazalot do? They'd bid. These two babies are like, oh no, what, what did you say Mr. Bazalot would do? He'd buy more stuff. Oh, hell no. Those babies are scary. These babies are scary. I'm sorry. I gotta go back to those babies. Only mama could love. Everybody loves him. I was probably one of these. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
nice lot. <laughs> Kyle, since when does he make them talk? Who knows? It is. My wife gave me some pill today. I don't know what it was. Might have been for anxiety or stress or who knows. They're poisoning me here. Slowly but surely, they're poisoning me. We are here for the entertainment. That's what we're here for, guys. We are here to entertain you, make you guys laugh, make you guys smile, make your day a little bit brighter. If it's snowing, if it's raining, whatever it's doing, you come here. We'll make you laugh. And I'll keep my pants on to do it. Guaranteed. Edibles, no edibles. The only medicine I ever really take is is Advil. Sunny and 70 in Houston, nice. Sounds like there's an air raid siren outside. I just want you guys to have a good time. Want to sell some stuff, make some space, keep the wife happy. So then she doesn't kill me if I go spend sixty thousand dollars on rock and roll concert press photos, or rock and roll band press photos. So we are at two hundred and forty-four dollars with Greg Lusk. How about this? Mystery box photos right here. Look. Old photos, all from that collection, mystery box. Adding it to the slot. Here we go. It's in there. Whatever it is, it is. It's added. There's a lot of it, whatever it is. Added it to the lot. Mystery lot. Bonus. No, you didn't miss no wrestling magazines. I don't think I ever got around to the magazines. <laughs> we did sell all the glass negatives. I didn't even get to the to the awesome. Hey, JJ, are you still here? Who's here for military? Somebody's got to be here. He had to do it. I did. I just added another 50, 60, 70 photos in there. I don't care. Whatever. There's some good like fishing photos and all kinds of stuff. I don't even know where the wrestling photos are or the wrestling magazines are. Pam made some tray lots of magazines from the boxes, but I don't know what's in them. Uh, we are at Tellers with Nancy Newell. Blair, we didn't do any comics today. We will be doing the comics tomorrow. I just didn't get around to making lots today because we made lots of magazines. So tomorrow we're going to do Comic books, photos, magazines. Hmm. What else did I buy? Oh, I got to sell these military flags, you guys. So we're at 255 with Nancy, looking for 265. Blair, make sure you hit that bell icon, that, that bell notification. You'll always see when we're up. I'll show you in a second, Kyle. I got to call your brother, make sure he's in here so somebody can bid against you. Did do 244, but she did 255. That's $11. And guys, sometimes the squirrels, they just run by. And they're usually covered in shiny, sparkly things. So we're looking for 265 will be the next bit. I added a whole other tray of photos.
photo lots. See, when Pam leaves, I'm allowed to get a little bit silly. I'm excited. I might be buying 8,000 baseball cards. Okay, Greg, let us know if you're in, you out. Okay, you going to give up to Nancy? Okay, Nancy. Then I believe that one's going to be sold to you. Okay, let's call it down for Nancy. Unless somebody else is coming in at 250 or 265 or better, then this one's going to be sold to Nancy. Waiting on the sold, and then I'm going to put the sticker on it. So we do a whisper auction, guys. Put the sticker on it. People are probably wondering what kind of crack I smoked. What did I say we are going to sell? I don't even know what I said we are going to sell. What these? Oh, I do know what I said we are going to sell, because I want to see how these do. See if I should bother, because I paid pretty decent for these. So, we got these World War II Navy signal flags. I'm going to have to zoom out. Camera and mic. Camera. Zoom out here. Okay, there we go. So, these are 1940s, World War II era. Some of them were dated. Ugh. But they are Navy ship flags, signal flags. Look, they even have the old hardware still on them. Put it here. Oh, here we go. So here's some of the numbering on the flag. Set four. Numal flag. This one's a nice big one. Of course, I got the biggest one possible out of the out of the box, but you know that's okay. Okay, I need a twenty dollar start on these because I paid ten dollars a piece for these. So twenty dollar start. They are nineteen forties naval signal flags, navy signal flags. Oh, look, Brian Maroney jumps in at 100. Oh, no, he's, he's been 100 on a flag. No, he's, he's been 100 on crack. He's not been 100 on a flag. So $20 start, guys, on the flag. And the Navy signal flag. I think he's been on crack. He's been on whatever I was smoking, apparently. Get this over here out of the way. So these are pretty awesome. Navy signal flags. I just don't know anything about this stuff. I just figured... <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Nancy. Kyle, it's just I'm going to do them one at a time because I have, like I said, I paid, uh, I paid ten dollars a piece for them, so I'm doing one at twenty. Yeah, I got to see how they, and then we can go from there. I have, they're different ones. I haven't really opened all of them, but this was probably one of the more expensive things that I bought from that guy out of his car. So this one's a really large one, and you're talking, where's my, 
tape measure. Here we go. And this isn't going to be an exact measurement, but it'll be close. This is 46 inches across. So this is a pretty large flag. So we have $20 with Tommy. We're looking for 25 or 22 guys. So Navy signal flag. So 25 with Kyle, 27 with Greg. I was going to throw one of these on my Facebook page and just put like, you know, 48 hour make an offer. Whoever has the high offer 48 hours wins it. Because I don't know anything about this stuff. I just thought it was neat. And I think I bought 50 flags for $500. And obviously, some are better than others. And the squirrel in my head doesn't let me spend enough time to do any kind of research. So I bought it Saturday, going to sell it to you on Tuesday. And if somebody tells me it's Wednesday, I'm not going to know what to do yet. So we have 30 with Kyle. Yeah, they're and they're all different. So like, like I said, it's, or at least the ones that I've seen so far are different. There might be one or two duplicates, but... This one's exceptionally large compared. Okay, so we have Kyle Turan in at 30. We're looking for 32 or better on the military signal flag. The Navy signal flag, World War II era. They are 1940s. Whoever wins the bid gets it. That's shipped to your door. They've got the old hardware on them and everything. Pretty awesome. Tommy, let us know if you're out. We have 30 with Kyle Turan. I'm going to grab a drink real quick here. Tommy's out. Thank you. Okay, going once, going twice. I'm going to put this as flag number one. Flag number one. Flag number one. Number one. Oh, no worries, Tommy. I said it's one of those things that like you know if you collect military or navy stuff or ship stuff or flags these are pretty awesome okay thirty dollars Kyle Tram Some of the small ones I actually think are neater than the, the big one. Well, this thing's over five foot tall. So I think that was an amazing buy.
Give me a tray right here. Kyle Turan, $30. Congratulations, Kyle. Here's another one that looks... This one might be the same as that one. No, it's not nearly as big. It's very similar, but I don't think it's as big. Yeah, it's too similar. I'm going to give you something different. Just to see what we got here. But look, a wooden toggle. Tighten this thing. I think it's probably been rolled up since the 40s. So this is yellow and blue. Signal flag. Okay. Yellow and blue. Let's see if we get any labeling. Here we go. Here is a label. And in union made, guarantees quality. Two ply moth proof, guaranteed defiance colors. So twenty dollar start. On the yellow and blue, whatever that signal means, flag. That's the communication flag. Okay, awesome. Move it 90 degrees. You like this? You got it, Maroney. Okay, so we need a twenty dollars start on this. Kyle Trans in at twenty, looking for twenty-two or better on the vintage naval World War II flag. Greg's in at twenty-five. Like I said, some of them are neater than others. You know, I, I'm sure some of them are worth much more than others, and I just all those things take time. Oh, awesome. So we have Kyle in at 30. Greg's in at 32. I need Bruce Jenner, and you can signal YMCA. Or Caitlyn Jenner, or whatever it is now. 35 with Kyle. I did do the toy catalogs, K. Or J, sorry. Yep, I sold... The last lot I sold was... A giant lot it was like 40 of them as one big giant lot. And I think I did two lots earlier of maybe 15 each. He's a train wreck. Oh, we got to be talking about Caitlin Bruce Jenner. Not me. Okay, we have Caltran in at 35. We're looking for 37 or better on the World War II Navy signal flag. It's pretty awesome. And T is going to be going on soon, you guys, on Donatella Badalino's channel. So just to let you guys know. So we have 35 with Kyle Turan. These are much cheaper than I thought they were. So
Sold, sold, sold for 35 to Kyle Tran. Flag number two. Thirty-five. I'm going to do one more lot, guys, and then then we're going to go so that T can go on because I think they said five forty-five or maybe they said six fifteen. Who knows? But I haven't done any of what I'm going to do, so I want to try some out. And Kyle Turan, I'll tell you what, you get in touch with me. And maybe I'll just make you a deal on all of the flags once I've actually counted them. He told me there was around 50. Like I said, I think the numbers we're getting are super cheap. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm, I'm making, you know, after shipping it to you, I'm making double my money. So, so far, I'm fine with that. But there we go. Okay, I have not done any of these. Here, out of here, so you're gonna get these. They're in my way. These are not what I was talking about, but what I was talking about was a lot of magazines. So Bridget Jones Diary. I think that is the only thing in this lot. It does look to be. So you get a bunch of Bridget Jones Diary movie posters. Put this on your list this April. With Renee Zellweger, Colin Faith, Uncensored, Uninhabited, Unmarried, this film is not yet rated. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's either fifteen or sixteen of Bridget Jones' Diary. Original movie posters, up for bid. You get the whole roll. Twenty dollars start because it's going to cost twenty bucks to ship that. They were in my way, so I had to get rid of them. I have no clue where Pam even found those at. There might be two lots. If only Colin Firth was on the poster. Yep, starting bid twenty dollars. You're getting fifteen original. Bridget Jones Diary movie posters. So, yep, any interest? If not, we'll pass this lot. These are 47 by 21, full one sheet size. Airplane's going to attack us. So you get 15 original movie posters, one money. You need $20 to start. Pass, pass. Okay. We can pass those. Somebody wants them later, just tell us to bring them back. We'll bring them back later. Okay, I'm put them over there. They're in my way. Okay. Now, I said some magazines. And Kyle Turan, you saw the, uh, I showed you the Masonic original paintings and stuff. Okay. So I think these are travel-related posts or uh, magazines of some sort. They're called Arizona Highway. 
camera mic, camera, 20, there we go, here we are. Okay, so Arizona Highways, January 1953. So I don't know if this is like Arizona Travel, I guess. Camera and a Dream, Long Garrison. It's pretty pictures. These are some of the magazines I got. So Arizona Highways, 1953, 1958. $10 start, guys. 1957, 1957, 57, 1952. Let's let Arizona Highways, 10 magazines are right there. Some kind of travel and tourism magazines. So we have $10 start with Tommy. Here's number 11. I won't make it bigger just because that's what I do. All these great photos. The Native American Navajo Indians demonstrate prehistoric picture writing. Take the graphs. Churches, Cahula, Mexico's Flower Garden, certain part of Arizona, deer in Arizona. Pueblo style mountain lion hunting through western thing, western Arizona. So there's 11. Here's number 12. That one's 1951, 1955, number 13. 1955, number 14. 1959, number 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 of these. This one says Doc Holiday. Things so you could order more. Back of it. So it looks like it has some famous paintings in it. Ross Santee. Pauline Cushman. Well, Bill Hickok, Bat Masterson, Johnny Ringo, Jesse James, Curly Bill Brockus, Billy the Kid, Wyatt Earp. Illustrations by Lee Franklin McCarty. So you get a dozen, right? No, you get 20. Dozen. Hit 20 of those magazines. So we have Nancy in at 30. Okay, Greg is in at 30. Greg's confusing us using words. Greg's trying to be sneaky. That's what Greg's doing. So we have 30 with Greg. We need 32 from Nancy. Nancy throws in 33. There's 20 of these here. Shipped. And I can't ship a media mail because they're magazines.
I think they're neat because of the paintings and the artists and all the other stuff that's inside of them, the photographers. In the early 50s, well, early to mid 50s. <laughs> Nancy's in at 40. Have any George magazines? No, Tommy, unfortunately, I don't. Well, actually, I don't. I can't say that. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't know what I bought. In all the magazines, there's sports, there's these, there's some of those men's adventure type magazines that do really good. There's uh, wrestling, there's some social justice type magazines. I don't even know what the hell those are. But I really do not know what I bought, to be honest. Look, I'm up front about everything. I'll tell you guys. I paid a dollar with the assumption there was 3,000 magazines. And I bought the magazines. That's just how it was. Yep, card. I'm going to do wrestling tomorrow. There will be wrestling tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow we will have wrestling magazines we will have some men's adventure magazines we'll do some of the obscure stuff we'll have some amazing early life and look magazines like shirley temple nazi germany you know there's going to be amazing stuff there is really some really good magazines yep tommy there might be in there i haven't looked and whatever's in that box is going to come up for sale that's just how I like to do it. I like to give you guys I like to give you guys everything. Nancy Newell for 40. Congratulations. Okay, that's going to conclude our auction for the day, guys. Sorry I ran so late, but I had some energy to spare. Uh, I had that Snickers bar. I won't do that tomorrow. I do appreciate everybody hanging out with us, having a good time. Sorry I didn't have enough dirty jokes today. But you guys have been my Hercules. 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 That's very much. You guys are awesome. We will see everybody tomorrow here on Mr. Buys Lot. After us, make sure you guys go check out Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino. I believe the auction is on Donatella Bottolino's site this afternoon. Make sure you say Mr. Bazalot sent you, and have a great night, everybody. Hope everybody stays safe. You guys get some stuff. I will send invoices on Thursday night or Friday morning, so you get to bid on all three auctions before I invoice you. Okay, Kyle, no problem. So I will see everybody later. Mr. Bazalot saying peace out once the screen opens for me. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Janine, for all your help. And thank you, everybody. If you could hit that thumbs up on your way out, great, greatly appreciated.